You are tuned in to episode 16 of the Goodfellas Podcast. I'm your host, G5 Jeff TV, aka G5, aka 5, aka the guru is in the building. Um, I'm solo, only temporarily. Uh VP Shane will be in here within the next 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you know, VP Shane, aka Shane, I be a Bucci, will be up in here. Um, my man Boxing First Vlog, he he cooking up on his channel right now, but he will be in here pretty soon. Um, it's Boxing First Vlog, a.k.a. The General, a.k.a. Blunt Bayless, uh, will be here. Um, yesterday's show was absolutely crazy. Um, big shout out to my guy, Stay Ready Boxing. Um, he stopped through, hollered at us uh, for a little bit. Um, I'll be wanting these, these podcasts to be like an hour, hour and a half. These joints be cooking so much, man. We be on here for two and a half, three hours plus, man. But that's a credit to you guys, man. When you know time flies when you're talking boxing. And my my main man is in here earlier than expected. My guy boxing first vlog in the building, man. Can I get a mic check? One, two, one, two. Mic check. One, two, one, two. You sound good, player, man. For the people that's listening out there, that is my guy. Boxing First Vlog, a.k.a. The General, a.k.a. Blunt Bayless in the building. What's going on, player? Oh, man, just got home from work and uh, here to do some more work, talk this boxing with the family. Absolutely. Um, big shout out to my guy, Eric Eric H. in the building, man. Big shout out to him. He is currently in class right now on a Zoom <laughs> call, on a Zoom class, and he's going back and forth between the Zoom class and uh, the Goodfellas podcast, man. So big shout out to Eric H, man. Hopefully we can get you, get you through the um, get you through the class. Don't be failing and shit because of us neither. You know what I'm saying? Cause we ain't taking no blame for that shit. Um, second Ezra in the building, man. Big shout out to you. Said peace to the family, man. Peace to you, brother. Um, a vlog. We we got a lot on the docket, man. We got a we got a nice weekend. <laughs> of of cards man we got a nice weekend of cards man we got um i mean we can kick it off uh we got boot tennis versus uh tomas delorme uh we have uh jamal james versus batayev um we got alan babbage this weekend uh craig richards if you if you with the uk thing um hold on well let me mention my fight then Mm -hmm. Let me mention my I'm I'm got my eye on the boy Archie Sharp. I'm looking to, I'm looking to see if he can make an impression, bro. Anybody uh tapping into the channel, man? I uh, you know I've been dropping a couple of uh, the videos here lately, just trying to get the channel back cracking again. So y'all tap in over there and uh, check out that Archie Sharp uh, preview. Absolutely. And if you don't know who Archie Sharp is, do your homework on Archie Sharp. It's okay if you don't know who Archie Sharp is. You know what I'm saying? I did I did a little bit for him. I did a little bit for him. Tap into the OG. You know I, I did the homework for you. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and tap in with him. Um probably the fight I'm looking forward to most this weekend is probably Jose Cepeda and um Josue, yeah. Josue Vargas. Yeah. I think that's a real good fight. Um yeah, yeah. Man, um, that uh he, that face off was that face off was lit. I seen a lot yeah, of yeah. energy, kind of reminded me of Shakur's energy. Yeah, and I, same energy. Yeah, and I and, and people don't realize how important it is to see energy at a weigh in. That means both guys made that weight comfortable. Nobody was struggling, nobody, you know, they, they looking for the uh you know, they, they looking for the fluids right after they, they weigh in. They they were sitting around, you know, talking and all that good stuff, man. So that's good to see, man, because um I hate when fighters come into a fight. And they like, oh, I was weight drained. Oh, I ain't feel right. This, that, and the third. You know what I mean? Um, both and, guys. And this, that, and this, this is one of those, you know, like throwback sort of fights that we get in boxing, that Mexican, Puerto Rican clash that just turn and always have the same half classes in between those two groups of fighters. So I'm expecting the same thing in this one. Yeah, this this is a really nice weekend of fights. Um, for the people that don't know, um, VP Shane will be live for that Alan Babbage card, Alan Babbage Craig Richards card. So if you wanna um, if you wanna join him, 
um, in the live this Saturday, you could definitely do so. Um, I might make a cameo appearance. Uh, vlog might make a cameo as well. But we, you know, the UK cars, we like for, you know, VP Shane to shine, you know, on those. And, you know, he requested to go live for that. So, you know, we're going to grant his wish and let him let him go wild, let him do his thing, man. So, um, you know, we're going to put a uh, we're going to put a poster out, you know, for Saturday. And, um, you know, y'all can hang out with the VP for a little bit. Um, Conrad Boxing in the building, man. Um, he said, evening, don't like that Babbage is in the, is in the title tonight. <laughs> uh, hey, Conrad, if you don't mind me asking, what, what is it about Babbage you don't like? Because we, we look at Babbage as entertainment, and that's pretty much it. Like, we don't look at him as like no Yeah, bro. I mean, the whole sport is in it. The whole sport is entertainment, though. You feel me? So you got to give, you know, when we get these characters, you kind of got to give them a nod. You know what I mean? Just give them a kudos, so to speak. You feel me? Yeah. It's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of boxers out there that can box, but don't have no entertainment value. You know what I'm saying? And that's the majority Facts. of the sport. Facts. You know what I mean? That's the majority of the sport. So, um, you know, we got to salute, you know, we got to salute those. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, right on time, uh, my guy Shane is in the building, man. What's going on, good brother? I'm good, bro. What's up, blood? Don't even say nothing. I I got it under control. I got it under control. Don't worry. What happened? What happened? No, the same. What are you talking about? This issue that oh, you're talking oh, about. Okay, today. okay. It, it, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I yeah. had to do like some okay. checks, and that's what took me long. Okay, I mean, well, you know, uh, you got to tweak it for the OG man. I ain't been in school in many moons, so uh, you know, what I mean, work with me when it no, comes but to it's them, good. Like, them it's, writings. It's, 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 it's real good. Obviously, it's nice, nah, real good. Yeah, um, okay. is that a appreciate that. Sponsor? Appreciate that. Is that a possible sponsor that you're drinking, Chain? No, nah, bro. Unless they wanna. Sponsor me. I'm not gonna say the name, but it's tasting real nice right now. Hey, listen, you gotta say the name <laughs> in order for them to know that you're drinking it. Emerge energy drink. So emerge energy drink. Um go ahead and sponsor your boy VP Shane. You know what I'm saying? Need that. Um Conrad, I don't know if you've seen this, Shane, but uh Conrad said uh evening, he said he don't like that bad bitch is in the title tonight. In the title of the live. <laughs> He said what? He don't like the fact that Babbage's name is in the title of, of this podcast tonight. Well, you got to understand, this guy is a, no matter how much you dislike him, he is a factor in the heavyweight division regardless. <laughs> uh, he said he is total trash. <laughs> Man, um, that's... You yeah, it, no, bro, it, with, with, with Conrad not understanding, bro, you got to have that underdog in this division that guy that's an overachiever you know that the casuals gonna believe in and bring so because it's all about money too so if you have that sort of character you can run with that you know I mean? you keep putting him in these positions that he can win and shine and then you throw him in there with the wolves and and, and let the bags and let the money flow because that's exactly what's gonna happen Trust he'll cash that. out if he get a shot so i'm just saying yeah, and this uh this next comment, I'm gl so glad you mentioned this because I almost forgot. Uh Chris G said he is so disappointed. Uh big shout out to Chris G. The reason why he's disappointed is um David Benavidez's opponent, Jose Uzkatagi, um, has tested positive for, for, for the finest juices. Finest juices. <laughs> um I find that so crazy because this dude's been trust for the last few years and he's been on drugs. I mean, that's not a good look. At least well, when Gene Pascal was on drugs, at least you could see an improvement uh, in that mood. Hold up, hold up, though, Shane. Your boy got popped, and he came in and damn near got his face beat in. So, Valdez, so you know what I mean? That Maybe when you come in off of that shit, it don't do you good. So, you probably, they done probably caught Uskazagi in the last few fights coming off of it, and he didn't show up in the fight because I thought he could have did better against Plant. I thought he was gonna catch Plant through that fight. I was nervous through that whole fight. I lost my first bet against uh, Blunt. 
How? See, I, I, took I mean, took Uskati to get in that fight. I took Uskati to get in that fight. You took no way was Uskati gonna beat Plum. Yeah, I took Uskati. Yeah, that was a that was a trash. That was a trash. I, I, I but I, I, that's what I'm saying. I, but yeah. before the fight, I I believed in Plum. I, I ain't gonna lie. But when the fight was going. It just seemed something about Uzkowski just kept coming forward. I just was like, I was nervous. So knowing that he yeah. he one of them guys that like you know like like the injections. I mean, you know what I mean. I I don't know, bro. I mean, but he is trash though. That's what's crazy. Do, he like, didn't get do, off in these do fights. Do you guys? Do you guys? Um, have you guys put, added any thought into whether we should add um anything to the fantasy league this week? Nah, nah, we're gonna run with it for next week. We have to thought we yeah, agreed on that. With it. Yeah, we're gonna run with it. Yeah, not this week. I mean, it um, is a few good fights, but that's why we're gonna do the lives though, too. So so yeah, the folks can tap yeah. in with us on the live. I'm gonna well, um, be there with you Saturday. Are you not doing a live for the American fight as well? The um the boots card and Jamal James. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I I want to, you know what I mean? I, I want to let's do it on my channel. Yeah, Blunt, do it on your channel for um boots, and then we'll do Babbage on this channel. Yeah, do it like I'm with you. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah. I I, I cool. shut I shut everybody off the schedule this weekend. So you know, I you know I had to tell all the ladies like you know, I'm gonna be <laughs> off. So. Uh I'm ball on, this is Smurfit Kappa de Tijuana Planta One. Uh, whoever you are, big shout out to you. Um, I don't know what you're saying. I need for you to translate that. I don't have Rosetta Stone in my uh in my laptop. So, I see uh, the word. I see the word lost Negroes in there. So <laughs> yeah, I, lost Negroes. Uh, I, I don't know, brother, but hey, man, we appreciate you being on, man. Subscribe to Boxing First Vlog. Subscribe to myself. Um, you know, and put put some English translation up in here, man. We, you know what I'm saying? You gotta Elbow let me know in poor, advance. Poor, poor. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, bro. Yeah, uh, he lost me with that. Yeah, we speak, we speak. Hey, no disrespect to any other language, bro, but we speak English on this side of town, baby. You can't come in and that. It almost could be considered disrespectful because I don't even like how nobody be using Negroes. Or ne I always think negative when I see them words. So I'm hoping yeah, that's so translate, comment. translate, brother. You got the yeah, translate. yeah, yeah. Um, Chris G said, Who's a good replacement opponent? I'm glad you asked. Um, I, I gotta quote my man L Dub, man. Big shout out to L Dub, the plug. Um, he was saying he uh, he messaged me and asked me was Jesse Hart available? I told him no, said because he got a fight on the twenty seventh. Um, I didn't think that was a good idea anyway because I think Jesse would you you can't fight a guy like David Benavidez on short notice. That's just that's bad. Who, 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 who's a good name for him at one sixty eight? Um, at short notice, Chiron. That was another name he mentioned. Nah, that I don't I don't think I don't think. I don't think that's fair on Kyron Davis. No, he ain't ready. I mean, yeah, but I mean, we talking short notice though. No, but it's that's not option, fair. So. On, that's not fair on Kyron. I think I think you gotta get a dude like. I'm trying to look for the PVC roster because you think yeah, they have I'm short notice. You are gonna have to look inside. Usually they what? have a backup. Usually they have backups. I um, mean, PBC. what about? But with this fight being pre. He already yeah. locked in. Oh, you talk he and the, in. you talking about the uh yeah, he locked in. He was he on um who undercard is he on coming up? Who's he fighting? Let's it be. Who um uh who Darrell? Anthony yeah. or Andre? Man, yeah, which one? Anthony. I don't know who yeah, he is. Let me look that up. Yeah, he on the card. He on the undercard. They just added him to somebody undercard. I can't think of who, who it is. Let me look him up real quick. Let me see. Check this out. Sorry about the delay, folks. We trying to get this last minute information, man, because you know how to. He check. on Canelo's. He on Canelo's. Around. Oh, Canelo and them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I but, knew he was on somebody's coming up, but, but Marcos, I don't know. Ain't his Marcos brother Hernandez? I think I seen Ooh. Marcos fight on PBC before. Ooh. Is his brother I available? Got, I got one. I got one, Jeff. I got mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. How about Danny Jacobs? He's not gonna take it on short notice, though. And he got a high price tag. I like the matchup, though. I like the matchup, though. And ain't he locked in with the zone? No. Ain't he locked in with match room? On? No. He nah, free he agent. Can, he can get that fight. He can get that fight. Yeah, he can get no. that. Oh, okay. That's you know, you know who, you know who, you know who I would have liked to see David Benavidez fight, but I don't think he fights at sixty-eight. The guy that Joe Smith beat for the belt. Oh, Vlaso. Vlaso, that'd be a good fight. That'd be a good Honestly, fight. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, hey, see, answer me a question. What was that fight with the African and 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 uh, the football player dude? That that fight that was that that was just that shit was that was a fight of the year too. I can't think of the boy or name, but uh, it was on PBC. What what was that weight though? You know what I'm talking about? It's the African boy had put the clip up. The African boy was talking all that that smack. Then he got his ass whooped out there. It was on PBC, man. People had that shit up fight of the year, man. I can't think of the boy name off the top of my tongue. Oh, man. You, I'm wondering just, what weight is he. You know what I'm saying? That's... Let me, you just put fact, let me look on my uh, IG. No, I put it up when the fight happened, bro. I have put it up. Oh, okay. But that's, that might have been on... You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to look. I'm going to look back on my IG. I want to... Th I don't know what weight dude is. He, he might have been... Uh, he might be too big, yeah. though. Come to think you about had it, to, oh boy, might you had to look big. that up. Big. Yeah, you had to look that up. Um, yeah, yeah Chris I'm G, checking. it's it's hard. I'm it's checking. it's, it's checking. hard to say who who would be a good replacement. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, man, 168 kind of ice cold too. You're not reading because it's just kind of top heavy. One sixty eight is very top heavy. Yeah, ain't no, ain't a lot. Yeah, but at this last point though, hey. yeah, but at this last point he gonna have they gonna have to look in house. That's the only I doubt yeah. it if you yeah, gonna be able I'm to reach to top rank or somewhere. Yeah, maybe I can't get their rankings up. Oh, um. Well, let me keep it moving in the comment section. Um, Conrad Boxing, he said, I still don't think Babbage Molina is a sealed deal. Um, oh, Babbage is going to destroy Molina tomorrow. Yeah, that might No, he meaning time. like it's going to get called off. He think it's, he, I think he mean like if it's going to get called off and he going to get it. The day line. before the fight. I think Conrad wants it called off. I think that's what that is. <laughs> that's um, what it is. Yeah, uh, Chris G said he said salute to the black people and the Latino boxers out there in USA. Chris G, my man, uh, yeah, he's oh, translating okay. for us, he translating for us, man. Appreciate that's what's that, up, man. my dude. The, 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 what the Respect. hell is that elbow part? The elbow bump, para para, whatever. What is that? What is, what's that part? That's probably oh, yeah, how you yeah, say, probably, uh, yeah, yada, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this dude is crazy, yo. Chris G said Lionel Thompson or Caleb Truex. I mean, I don't want to see Truex, Truex. Back in the ring. No, True ain't Truex still healing? I'm trying to find out right now, bro. I'm looking, I'm looking on, on the side. Ain't that the dude that had the hatchet hatchet shot in the head? Uh-uh. What are you talking about? The one that had the big who had the big split in the middle of their head? Wasn't that you talking about? Uh, you talking about Badu Jack? No, that was oh, years okay. ago. Yeah. I don't, man, whenever it happened, I, that was years ago. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, but that still looked like it needed to heal. That's how bad that shit was. So I thought the other boy, that was true. Though. That was true, X, though, right? It don't matter, bro. He can still be healing, bro. He can still be seeing the doctor behind that shit, bro. No, I'm saying <laughs> it was that, years ago that happened to him, right? That happened to him? I don't remember which one. I could, I'm confused on which one of the dudes it was. I know it definitely happened to Badu Jack against Marcus Brown. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, um, so that that's what I'm thinking about then. Badu Jack. 
But I'm looking, bro. I don't see no names popping up out here. Yeah, Chris they ain't got this shit right. He said, I have no idea. Yeah, that shit ain't. They don't have it ranked by fighters either. Like, Conrad. That meat is too small. Yeah, this shit is terrible. Yeah. I mean, Lionel Thompson, I I think. I I mean, I'll take it. I, I, I think, I think, though. Where Benavides is in his career, he kind of needs names. That's why I was thinking of the name like Danny Jacobs and something like that, because he kind of needs names. Yeah, but he's not going to get a last-minute guy with, with a name. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, he's not going to get that. Swarrow what about a last-minute uh, middleweight coming up? Y'all think they, could, they might do something like that? You know, Black one Kuma. of them Black ooh, tweener type of middleweight dudes? Black Kuma. Hugo Santino Jr. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm spitballing. At this, at 20, this point, 28 3. I, I, at this point, whoever gets in there with Benavidez, this is going to be this is going to be a sparring session on live TV. What about what about Toriano Johnson? He's not going to take it on late notice neither. And he did. That's kind of a little bit out of his range, though, because he more like 160, yeah. and that's where he, he said he was going to settle he in at. To move up to he said he would go up. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry, I, need for you to, I need for you to pick up your phone, too, brother. He be on Twitter all day long. What about Revianchenko? He ain't going to take it uh, late Nah, notice. hell no, not a late uh, notice. Not no late notice. You got to get guys that's like names that's not buzzing like that because guys name guys that have a name, they're not going to take a short notice fight, especially Hell against man. a guy like Benavidez. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you're going you gonna to get, what do you yeah. say, cupcakes? Cupcakes make you happy. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know I mean, yeah. Might oh, I sprinkles. need that clip, too. Might be sprinkles. Might be sprinkles. I, need, yeah, I don't see nobody, about, bro. Even if you think about it, bro, Use Katagi was kind of a cupcake in the first place. So that was yeah, the level that yeah. Benavides was working with. And is Benavides even gonna make weight, especially now that there's nothing on the line? I guarantee you they're gonna move that weight up. It's gonna be a catch weight of like 170 or something like that. 171. I guarantee it. Bro, is nobody jumping? The they got more middleweights than they got. Super uh uh super middleweights, bro. You can put the G five. What about Jay Leon Love? Oh, did he already not. beat his ass? He already, yeah, he already beat him. Uh, yeah, man, man, that, was the, that was on the yeah. that was on the that was on the expense on the card. Yeah, I he told. beat the brakes of. I'm that trying league. to find somebody for the fan. I'm trying to find somebody. Willie Monroe might take it, baby. I Willie might guy, take it last minute. Did it. Didn't he get b- busted for juice? Did, isn't he got a, didn't he get banned? Ain't he 160? Willie Monroe Jane? Yeah, but he a big 160. So I'm just trying to, I'm throwing a spitballing with the names. Monroe, man, he thick as hell, bro. Bro, he. Oh, he okay, well, he might have yeah, got he, banned. Or, um, let me get in these comments real quick. Well, uh, yeah. Unless it's a seven-figure paycheck, most big names not going to take the fight. That's a fact. Benavidez may wait a week before his last fight. That is very true. Uh, Andre Southgate in the building. What is going on with you good brother? Say what's going on, guys. Uh, Chris G. Benavidez beat the crap out of love in less than two rounds. Yeah, that was ugly. Like, I, like that was ugly. Um, I, yeah. What, I, what just, about, what is, what's the, what about, what's that dude's name? The dude that has his mom training him from time to time. Oh, you're talking about Dennis Duffy. Man, don't nobody want to yeah, see that. Don't, don't nobody want to see that. But he's, but he's, I think he's 162. He would have to come up. He would have to Yeah, come that's up. the only thing I'm thinking, bro, because they ain't got no 168. Yeah, 168 uh, is, is, don't have fillers, bro. It's very top heavy. You got a lot of top heavy fighters at 160. That's what I said. It's, it's, it's There's ice no cold. fillers. Yeah. Like you got Caleb Canelo. Plant should pull out of this fight and fight David Benavidez. That is the maddest thing I've ever heard in my life. You must be crazy. The, nigga, the dude's going to walk <laughs> away from possible 10 million to fight Benavidez. Hell no. Man, this is Would opportunity, you? bro. They've been, nah, they been bumping gums the longest. 
This shit yeah, with, Ken- with, with, uh, yeah, with, uh, Canelo. Canelo's money's too strong. I mean, oh, now, shit. all right, now, here you go. But I said it based on this, Shane. He has a better chance of winning against Benavidez than he does against, uh, Canelo. That's, that's really true. where Chris that statement just was said a real from. good name. Chris G just said a real good name, bro. A real uh, Gerald name. Washington. Damn. David Lemieux. What about that David is a Lemieux? Real good name. Yeah, David Lemieux. He might take it. He might take it. That's a good name. That's a good name, Chris. Uh, Benavidez already beat Dennis Dublin. Yeah, what about Dublin. what about my dude? What about um? I know it's this way too late notice though. What about um? Someone like John Ryder. He's not gonna take it. Why not? Shooting off, shooting off, ain't shooting off one seventy five. No, you do know one sixty eight. He one sixty eight. He may take it. Shooting off may take it. Yeah, Chudo Nov might take it, but I think David Lemieux is a real nice name. I yeah, like David that. Lemieux I, I think, good. I like that. I one. think I think that's probably my first pick to be honest. Yeah, uh, David Lemieux shooting off too. I, I like what, both of them names. What was the title of this life? Um, let me see. Uh, I just put I just put uh, Boot Tennis, Jamal James, Alan Babbage in action, and more. So, 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 so what? Have we spoken about? Let's Boots get busy. Mm-hmm. No, we ain't Have talked you? about nothing because we always freestyling. We need to get into it. We be letting it uh, boil up, though, man. You you can't just start cooking as soon as you put the uh, flame on. You feel me? You gotta let the right, pot right. heat up and everything like that. So let's get it cracking, though, because. Uh, you feel me? I'm trying Let's to get talk, a blessing uh, tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, bird gang, baby. Bird gang. Bird gang. Oh, bird gang. Okay. We trying oh, to stay okay. perfect. We trying oh, to stay, okay. stay perfect, okay. baby. Hey, no, man. get your mind out the gutter, Jeff. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> hey, man. We, hey, I'm just saying. Um, no. Nah, but let's uh, hold on. My man D. Hodges in the building, man. Big shout out to D. Hodges, man. What's going on with you, player? Um. Let's start off with uh let's start off with boots. Let's get that out the way, man. Boots. I and mean that, that this, this, is easy. this is easy work. It really and truly it's mainly about how he looks and not the result. Because the truth is we just saw Delorme lose to Stain Jonas and Delorme lost to if I if I'm not correct. Who did he lose to the fight before that? Jamal James. Jamal so he, he he's got to uh, do better than both of them. Both of them took him the distance. So, um, Boots has got to get Delorme up out there, literally, in the first eight. Yo, I like Delorme too, man. I, I, I like Delorme, man. Like, he's he's one of them fighters. He going to take on whoever you put in front of him. He don't whine. He don't bitch. He don't complain. He's been in there. He's been in there with uh, Stan Yonis. He's been in there with Jamal James. He's been in there with Ugas. He's been in there with Bud. He's like this is a type of fighter that we we typically would support. Somebody that's going to go up against the best guys, and he's not. Ba- and and listen, Delorme is not a bad fighter. He's just a guy that fights at one forty seven. They probably should be fighting at one forty. Um, and and he's probably not never really been handled properly. Like he's taken fights yeah. when he didn't have taken them. Yeah. Like he. he, he Whoever is his matchmaker, <laughs> obviously, is just chasing the bag. They just chasing the bag. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. He's just chasing the bag at the end of the day. Um, do you think Delorme goes past six rounds? Yeah. What about you, Vlog? Nah, he right for the picking, bro. Because yeah, I thought I if James would have stayed off the ropes and fought from the middle out to the ropes, even boxing the way he was trying to box, because he could have just planted his foot, kept the jab out there, and got Delorme out of there. He just kept backing up so much, he didn't realize he was taking the steam off his own punches. So, I mean, Delorme, (laughs) and he he got awkward pressure. He doesn't come straight in on a straight line. He comes in sideways. He throws a lot of those overhands. So he's an awkward fighter, and Boots just got to be smart. And, and be patient too, and strike when you know. What I mean, when the, the time is right, and I think Boots' timing is good enough that he could fight in between that awkwardness. It, it is the Lumi, in you guys' opinion, a step down from Lipinets. Slight, about even, but because of his name, 
I think slight. I think if you put it, put them together right now, I would give Lippinus the victory. Me as well. I, I would I give it think, to I, yeah. think, I think the, I I think think the Lume is, I think the Lume is a step down. Because I think Delorme would think, beat Lippin, yes. I did I only I, think, only I only say that because he's already lost against other contenders. That's the only reason why I, I say that. And Lippinets has better wins at 147. Who? Uh Lamont Peterson. That was at 140, bro. No, that's 147, bro. That was 47? Yeah, that was that was Lippinets first fight at 47. He and retired was, Lamont Peterson. And that was and that was Lamont Peterson retirement fight, too. Yeah. I ain't giving but, him that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say this. All right, Shane. If you say that, Shane. No, if he if he say that, if he say Lippinus had better wins, then I would edge him out and say, "Oh boy, got better names and losses." Yeah, that's a fact. I would say if you say you. So I would say so. In a way, it's really not a step down. It's just the the ending result. Would make it a step but, down if it's the Lippin same Yates, thing that with Lippin James did. Lippinets wasn't coming off a loss going into the fight though. Yeah. The but it, it wasn't a loss. Losses. It wasn't, bro. It wasn't lopsided. He's not losing in fights where it's like he's getting beat around the ring. He's touching the canvas. These guys are just not getting him out of there. That's the difference. We where we're say it's a level up for Boots and Boots is a level above. It's because he'll have the ability to get these Delorme type of cats out of there. So, to me, it's so, not so, really a step down until we see the results. If so, we so, see so the what, results, and it's the same thing as... What, what do you expect to see from Boots in this fight, then, in terms of standard? Going to the body early, softening him up, one, two, third round, step back, get his timing on, start counterpunching him. And get him out of there by five, six. I say seven at the latest. Is, is that a, is seven that a rounds? Is that a success if he gets someone like Delume out of there? Because Delume is yes. the person who's lost fights before. Yeah, losing fights and getting stopped is different. I got to look up Delorme, but I've been known him to be getting knocked out. And I think what the four or five losses he got. I don't. I don't think he I may mean, have got stopped Stane once. Jonas and off the Stane top Jonas of my head, Stane Jonas and Jamal James took him. Um, took him the distance, and I think Crawford took him the distance as well. If I'm not, if I'm correct, so that that's yeah. my point exactly. So you gotta stop him, and you gotta do it in a significant fashion. It don't need to be no tenth round stoppage because people still gonna be, oh, he went ten rounds, so. If you do it in a in a good amount of time of not rushing it six seven rounds, uh, people can respect that, and that's that, that's why I said I think it's the results that what we're gonna really judge. Well, what most people gonna judge where Boots is at. What 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 what, what fight would you want to see Boots take after this? Because I don't think you go from the low may straight into world title. So. Who would you take just to fill that gap between? Bro, brother, can I can can I get in on that, brother? Go ahead. I didn't say nothing. I didn't it's say nothing. He, he was a, rolling. Yeah. Yeah. He was rolling. It's an open. It's an open check. It, yeah, it was an open question, Jeff. Hey, yeah, yeah, but he went to move on. I let me get in on that real quick. Um, the fact that the fact that um the expectations for for boots is so high. To the point to where we're like, yo, he got to get Delorme up out of there within six, or something like that. It just goes to show how highly we think of Boots, you know. At the end of the day, um, yeah, he, yeah. In my personal opinion, I'm like, if he goes the distance with with Delorme, they would look at that as a disappointment. That camp will look at it as a disappointment. Um, I don't see him getting past six rounds. Um, Delorme, Delorme is not nearly as physical. As uh Lippin Yetz, even though Lippin Yetz campaign mainly at 140, he's the more aggressive guy, the stronger guy, you know what I'm saying? But if Boots was to go six more than six or seven rounds with him, I know for a fact that camp would be disappointed um with that. Um, but I don't think it's a step down. I think it's pretty even, you know, in terms of Delorme and, and Lippin Yetz. Um, because if you put Lippin Yetz against Delorme, that's a coin toss fight. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit up here and say that, you know, one is worse than the other. 
But um, yeah, Boots is Boots should get him up out of. I, I agree with Log on this one. He he should get him up out of. What well, about who would you want to see him next? As I said, is a there's a there's a gap between the Lomay and the Crawfords, the Spences of the world. So who would you want to see him before he fights the A level? Go ahead, Vlog. No, nah, bro, keep rolling. You talk, you talking to the people, so keep rolling, bro. Um, are you talking realistically or, or my own personal plan? Both. Give us both. Boots and Jesse Vargas would be a good fight. That'd be a good fight. That's a step up from Lippin Yetz. That's a step up from DeLorme, but it's right underneath the Danny's and and all of that. And I, I think that's a realistic fight um, they can make. So um, I would say Jesse Vargas. Um, to be honest with you, um, I mean, shit, give him fucking Mikey. Give him Mikey. Mikey ain't taking that fight, bro. Yo, you see he's ranked number two after his loss? Mikey is not taking that fight, bro. You heard, you heard me? <coughs> yeah, I heard what you said, but Mikey's not taking hey, that Pan. fight. Uh, I got the name. And I know he's sitting back waiting for a, a fight like this. Bro, if you say Tegu, I'm going to come across your screen and choke you. Bro, why would I say Tegu? You're talking about two <laughs> weight divisions, I'm bro. Come on, you. man. I'm with you, bro. I'm oh, with you, bro. I'm like, hold up. I'm talking about Thurman. I'm talking about Thurman. Thurman ain't taking that fight. Thurman ain't taking You don't think Thurman? What? Nope. Now, That's a bad. That That's a bad. If this event <laughs> goes off properly... <laughs> That's a bag. They can create a bag on that fight. You know, so no, no Thurman. Nah, bro. is he not I, ready, I, I, or I, I, I just because they won't fight? Let's stick on the topic. Let's won't, stick on right, the hold on, answer. Hold Let's, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Shane. Let me get it out. Is it because he's not? Is it because you think uh, Boots not ready, or those dudes won't fight him? There's a reason why you said is, Thurman yeah. ain't taking that fight. I think Furman's looking at it like Boots is high, high risk, low reward in the sense that Boots' name isn't of the caliber of a... Pa it's cool to lose to Pacquiao. His name's massive. Cool to lose to Spence. Name's massive. To lose to a Boots, whilst we all know Boots is going to be a sensational superstar, he ain't it yet. And Furman don't want to be that dude to be taking the first loss. He dog, so, walks. He dog walks Keith Thurman too. Dog walks him. So it sounds like more from listening to y'all responses to me as a listener, I'm getting it sound like fear to me. <laughs> I'm, it, don't make think sense. it don't make business sense I, for Thurman to even do it. Bro, the business. man, but so, okay, tell me what, what is Thurman to do? Is he retired? What, what is that name to be, be done with in boxing? He's You're looking either for a gatekeeper or you. He's looking for big fights. Bro, Dude. You, you telling me the hottest dude in the welterweight division is not a big fight? No, I mean not money hell. fights. Not I mean hell. money fights. Because fight. that's oh. not a pay-per-view. You just come off a Pacquiao pay-per-view, bro. You're going to want to get a dude like maybe a Danny rematch or maybe move up to 154 and fight a dude like J Jamel. Or so, fight. Answer me a question. Answer me a question. How does Boots get there? Is it continuing I, I, to I, fight I, the Jesse Vargas's? Is it continuing to fight the Delormes? Like, how does Boots get there? Somebody like has to rock. fight him. Keep rocking, In, I'll be right back. Instead of instead of Delorme, I would have actually gone after Jose Cito Lopez. That's who I would have wanted to see him go after. Because I kind of think Jose Cito Lopez still got that kind of name. And he, 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 he got that... Uh, that Latino pool. So I think Jose Tito Lopez would have been a good name for um, Boots. I mean, is it, but that's what I'm trying to ask you though, bro. Isn't those names all on the same level? All of these guys that you, Jose Tito Lopez is beneath Keith Thurman, is on mm -hmm. the same level as Jesse Vargas, on the same level as DeLorme. These are good fighters. They're, they're level fighters. You, you beat these guys, you're leveling up. He seems to have already done that. Beating up Lipinitz, who was a, a mid-range contender at welterweight. Guys that, you know, you wanted to either fighting to get 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 your shot or 
not fighting so you didn't lose your shot. So that sort of situation with Lipinitz. He dispatched Lipinitz. He's going to dispatch Delorme. What I mean, you, you uh, there has to be a name. There, Danny Garcia. Key, I'm talking within PBC because you know I mean, I'm, they're not going to be able to go go after a, a Connor Ben or anybody like that at this time. No, I, I, mean, I don't my, see a fight like that happening. If I was if I was the one to pull the shots, my 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 line would be I'd go after a dude like Jose Cito Lopez, then a dude like Ugas because I feel like. Ugas is that g gate go between between uh, Errol <laughs> Spence and where this is right now. And the difference is Ugas. Now answer me this. Hold up. And the map going. Yeah, Ugas is set up in this little mini tournament, right, to iron out what mm -hmm. they got going on with the WBC. That's still an elevation fight. So if so you're saying like Keith Thurman thinks he's a player in that and Boots is still on the outside looking in at that winner, unless that winner goes directly after uh after Spence. But Spence has a mandatory or something coming up. Am I correct? That they still gotta iron out for the IBF. Am I correct? Yeah, so, I'd be, I'd be it, so again, in this scenario. I guess you just basically saying boots stay busy until that irons out. Cause I'm not saying Ugas is gonna come out the winner of this little mini tournament that they got. No, but all I, these I, guys I are live you. dogs. Budavez is a I, live I, I, dog. I'm just saying. I, I get you. I get you, but I'm just thinking uh, Ugas, who doesn't have the commercial pool, will be the most likely out of that bunch to fight boots. That's what I'm saying. Win or lose this tournament. Win or lose, because I don't think Paul okay. or Furman or Spence will fight Boots, but Ugas, because of his lack of commercial pool, will be more likely than the others. That's just my opinion. Sound about right. I, I mean, that, that makes sense when you say win or lose that tournament, but if if you're saying, like, win, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking different. When you say win, I'm thinking, like, he ain't paying no attention to Boots. His mind is on the Spence fight. His mind is on the winner of Porter uh, Crawford. But, because but, but of the way they got, moving him. But, but if he, if okay, me, but even if he loses to Spence, I'll still take that fight if I'm Boots. I'll still take that fight if I'm Boots. But by that time, we're talking about Boots should be in position to, to fight one of these champions, bro, to fight the WBO champion, depending if it's solidified, if we get a, a Thurman uh, Porter, I mean, a Spence Porter too, because everybody knows Sean Porter going to win that fight. Y'all heard it here first. Anyway, that's another Yo, story. We're going to stay on track. But, yeah, that, that's not going to happen, uh, but continue. Uh, <laughs> you see, that's because you, you see, if you smoke on this fruit, you'll think like I think. You'll think positively. You get some fruit in your life, my dude. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I don't see that him keep waiting around, bro. He has to have a name. He needs a name, bro. He cannot keep fighting the hoes of Cito Lopez's. Like he gonna be 40 and 0 by the time he gets the title shot, no, listening no, to the route that you want him to take. No, 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 but I'm just saying in the next to me, I think the, the route is this a host of Cito Lopez, it let's say in January. And then Ugas in, let's say August. That's my. That's the. That's the route that I would say. That would be my route. Okay. Let's let we we got the guru back in the building. Can you help us with the scenario for Boots? I in, sure in will. But let me let me get through these comments, and I'll definitely do that. Oh um, yeah, Chris yeah, G. yeah, yeah. My bad. We ain't mean to leave. No, we good. Out. We good. Um, Chris G said Boots beats everyone at one forty seven and with and fifty four. Changed my mind. Uh. That's a lofty statement. Um, very, very lofty statement. Fifty-four is lofty. Now, one forty-seven. Yeah, that's, that's even arguable. That's still lofty. That's, that's still lofty. lofty. It's still, it's still arguable for sure. My man L Dub, the plug is in the building. Big shout out to my guy L Dub. L Dub, I still got to listen to his last live, man. I'm gonna one get of, at you to, uh, to this one, L. He's probably the that's one the guy that all three of us enjoy. Like equally, you know what I mean, in terms of his channel and his content. Big shout out to L Dub, the plug man, Chris G. I don't think the Lord is six exactly. 
said, I don't think Delorme goes past six unless N is pleased with his food. I agree. Um, D. Hodges, L. Dub. Um, hold on. Said, yeah, two can keep coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Uh, hold on. Do, do, do. Chris G. Uh, Delorme is coming off competitive losses against top 10 guys. Yeah, his, his yeah. resume is stacked. His resume is absolutely stacked. Oh, there's a lot of comments. Let me get through these real quick. Um, talking to each other. Andre Southgate Boots is a talented fighter. The guy has great timing. Um, yeah. His timing is real nice. He said timing Jesus on the shots. Christ, you got a hell of a lot of comments. Yeah, D. Hodges, Boots versus Ortiz. That, that ain't, ain't going uh, Andre Boots against Thurman. Let's see if Thurman still has it. Um, I, don't I just think don't think... Right. I don't think that happens either. Conrad, I don't care much for that fight. My main question is, will we see Ennis in a big fight in 2022? I'm going to get to that in a second. Uh, D. Hodges, people will pay for that. They would. Uh, I would like Boots versus Thurman. Uh, Boots yeah, versus no, Mean Machine. There's, there's no... No, nah, definitely not Mean Machine. Definitely not Mean Machine. Definitely yeah. not Mean Machine. I don't want to see that fight. He beats the brakes off of any of these dudes that y'all are mentioning. I think he beats Virgil right now, so it, it's, but, it's 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 issues for a lot of people at 147 that are on the second tier, that are on the outside looking in. I'm talking about the can... dudes that's. Let me let me get through the rest of these, y'all. Let me get through the rest of these real quick. Um, Kyra said, or Boots versus Porter. Um, maybe if Porter comes off a lot, maybe if Porter loses his next fight, then maybe he still wouldn't take Boots. Um. I would even take Avanesian. Nah, that wouldn't take that fight. Uh, Chris G. Thurman almost uh, two and a half year mark of not fighting. He literally <laughs> fights every two years. Um, Conrad, I hope not D. Hodges, but he could be right. He said he got bud problems. Yeah, Sean definitely got bud problems. Quick one, Jeff, um, while you read, yes, can I ask yes, the chat a question? Do, do they think that the Thurman Boots fight is a mega fight. Is that is that pay per view s to the people in the chat? I'm not asking you to because I already know what y'all gonna say. I'm right. talking to our folks in the chat. That's so for the chat. Y'all could answer that for the OG. Appreciate you. Yeah, Andre said may need to change his name to Keith Threeman. <laughs> Three years out of the ring fighter. That's funny. Nah, nah, bro. You have to, yeah, you, you have to change. You have to change his name from Keith One Time Furman to Keith Two Time a Year or One Time a Two Years Furman or something like that. Because yeah. this guy, oh, yeah. Uh, Boots versus Ortiz is a good fight. I wish they would make that happen, bro. That mini tournament shouldn't have been made. Ugas just beat Pack. Don't understand the tournament. Um, to be honest with you, uh, Andre, the only reason they're doing the tournament is because it's because it's Ugas. So yeah, there's no way they do that to pack. Um, Kyra said, Yeah, Ugas definitely wants Spence or Bud. Way better risk reward ratio than a boots fight. That's I true. don't even I don't even think that I think the only reason why that tournament's happening is because Errol's injured. If Errol wasn't well, injured, Errol would just fight Ugas straight away. Well, I think it's sanctioning fees too, but um, no, that's true. Um, Andre Southgate Crawford. No, remember. Now, I think all of y'all wrong. Remember, they said it's the way to clean up that belt situation. That's why they really did it. This regular, you can, super. You can you can say that, but they only done it in welterweight. They didn't do it in heavyweight. They didn't do it in cruiserweight. They didn't do it in but light listen, heavyweight. But they, they said they said they, it no, in the weight club. Just saying what they said they doing for the whole association they may be starting in what one of the high it's just a filter uh, i mean just a lot of people and a lot of belts right now in welterweight you got to clean that up so you can get that unification thing cracking that's what it's about too because that's the major money the major money ain't in the regular title change of hands the major money is in the real wba a welterweight champion title changing hands through sanctioning fees and major fights of that ilk so I but the, think I, the, I, I, I'm with him for that reason of having the tournament. The WBA and then just who got need to build this bag up, bro? The, the WBA just lost a super bag when Errol Spence and Pacquiao didn't happen. That's the bag that they lost. They lost a mega bag. But continue. So they're here. trying to make it up with the tournament. <laughs> I mean, they. I think Ugas deserve. I think he deserves a a, a Spence opportunity. 
um, outside of going for this tournament. Like, I, I understand what you're saying, but Stan Jonas ain't moving the needle. Neither is Jamal James. But, I mean, I get it, though. Um, Bruce Gold's in the building. What's going on? He said, Dwayne Sewell in the building. He said, no, not yet, vlog. Um, hold on. D. Hodges said, Boots going to uh, beat the brakes off him, though. Um, getting into this boot situation, I think the best route for, for boots to go is he needs to pick up, he needs to pick a sanctioning body and pick his way to the mandatory spot, same way Spence did. Um, because he's at a point right now where he's going to dog walk all the second tier guys and he's not a big enough reward for the big guys, so he's in the same spot Spence was in, it's in the same spot Spence was in. Um, before the Brook fight, you know what I'm saying? So he needs to find one of these sanctioning bodies, go through the process, get to a mandatory position so he can't get dumped. I think he he's in a worse points. I think he's in a worse spot than Spence. Spence actually I got like more that. opportunities. I, I like but, that idea, but which one would you say is the best opportunity to get the mandatory? Um, he can pick any of them but the blood one. So no WBO? Nah, definitely not WBO. Uh, he can go WBA, IBA. Ortiz has gone down that route. Ortiz has yeah. gone down that route. Yeah, he can go WBA, IBF, WBC. IBF yeah. might be a difficult one because um, Errol already has a mandatory. And unless um, but Boots gets the Abdi Cochran fight, which I don't see happening. But funny enough, that's the fight that when I spoke to... Um, <laughs> uh, when I spoke to Bozy, Bozy did say to me that that's a fight that they wanted because that would have been an automatic mandatory. But Abdi Cockerham right. didn't take the fight, which makes sense because why would you take that fight when you're one step away from fighting for a title? Yeah, no one's gonna do that. Sense. That's what I'm saying. So Boots is actually in a worse spot than Spence was. When Spence Boots is in a up. way worse spot because yeah. if you remember when Ennis was coming up, I'm not Ennis. When when Errol was coming up, it was just Errol. You got uh, Ortiz coming up. You got Stanionis coming up. You got a lot of dudes coming up. Conor Ben and a lot of these dudes have their own promotional backing. If you look at it, he's got the worst promoter in terms of actual promotional promotional promotion push. Like he's not with a uh, uh, Bob Arum. He's not with a um, Eddie Hearn. He's not with. I know he's with a PBC kind of, but he's not with Al Heyman. So. He's got the worst backing in terms of someone who's going to put money behind him to actually pay these governing bodies to get him a good ranking. Because that's how it goes. You give a governing body a good, a bit of money, you get a good ranking. That's how it goes. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, Mikey Garcia is ranked number two right now after <laughs> a loss. So that just goes to show. He's been getting the bag in his last few fights, so he can afford to pay that. Yeah, you can pay for that ranking. Even getting the bag, bro. So, um, that's the best situation. So I don't even want Boots fighting the Jesse Vargas's and other world and all that, unless it's gonna move him up the rankings or get him close to a title eliminator to get him to a mandatory spot. I don't even want to see them fights. I just want to see Boots busy, and I want to see him taking fights that's gonna get him to a, a mandatory uh, shot. He's got to kind of do what, what's it called, um, what Joe Joyce done uh, in the heavyweight division. You know how Joe Joyce fought Brian Jennings and then he fought um, Daniel Dubois and then he was trying to fight Usyk, trying to work his way through one governing body, which is the WBO, right. to right. get that money. He's kind of got to do that. Yeah, he's going to have to pick us. He's going to have to pick. He's he going to need help from Al and them too because they're going to have to overpay guys. To, to get them to take that fight. You're going to overpay guys and make them some some handshake deals and some promises and, and things like that. Has Booth you know been on saying? Showtime yet? Yes. He's lost two fights on last Showtime. Two, last two fights have been on Showtime. Um, yeah, the, the, the um, Lipton Yes fight was on Showtime. Matter of fact, I was, on, I was on the phone so with you. Uh, is this on Showtime on. or is, is – oh, okay. Is this Lipton. on Showtime yeah. or is this on PBC? Showtime. Well, showtime. Yeah. Cheap. Yeah. Showtime. Uh, so um but, but I mean I mean I know for a fact um Boots has got some big offers on the table, but obviously 
he's just wanted to take it the showtime route. But I know he's he's gonna ha- he's gonna have big offers on the table because. Yo, hey Shane. Yeah. If Showtime was smart, right? Vlog this for you too. If Showtime was smart, right? Every single network they had they they run when they had their serious run, they always had maybe two to three people that was kind of like the standouts of the network. You know what I'm saying? Like HBO. They had they stand out people. Showtime, like they had they stand out people. I think if Showtime is smart, they take a guy like Boots, give him the keys. Give him, give, give him the keys. You know what I'm saying? Like we haven't but seen Tank a, we haven't has seen been a, that guy though for them. Yeah, hey, don't you think Tank has been that guy for them? Yeah, he's one forty seven. No, I'm just saying, but as far as he's saying that them having stars, I think they've had at least yeah. one for Showtime until Tank moved over, obviously, to pay-per-view. So. But yeah. I know what you're saying. Um, That's what I'm saying. But yeah. what about – didn't wasn't A.B. on Showtime. Yeah, but he wasn't – He, he, he was. was. But he, he was wasn't Showtime, the His name – he wasn't the business, though. That's what I'm saying. If you if Showtime really wanted to, like, put they, put their foot down – Give God, give a guy like Tank the keys, give a guy like Boots the keys, and surround your cards with those guys. Surround them with those guys. You know but the problem, but this is the problem again. You gotta find a way to move the needle and get opponents that's gonna get the needle moving. You can overpay mm-hmm. opponents, but let's keep it real. Boots ain't the only way for people to get their bag right now. People can go over to um, Virgil and get a bag. People can go over to Ben and get a bag. People can go over to Errol Spence or Crawford or and get a bag elsewhere. There's bags well, all over the place right yeah, now. Yeah, it's bags all over the place. But if you basically, if they give Boots the keys, right? None of those guys you mentioned is heading up a whole goddamn network. Showtime needs somebody. They need somebody. Oh, like, yeah, no, when, you think, a, when you think when you think of when you think of Showtime boxing, there's not one name or one fighter that comes to your brain. I mean, so not right now. Still, yeah, so good not right now. They've had good not fights. Right now. Not right now. I'm talking about a name. Like yeah. when you think of Tuesday yeah. night, yeah. Yeah. no, no doubt, no day, doubt. Names come up. HBO names come yeah. up. You understand what I'm saying? Show, Showtime just don't have yeah, a signature. Like a, like, a, like a face of the network. The like, face of example, the network. Like, like when, yeah. when, when, yes. I, when yes. I used to think of when I used to think of um, Golden Boy, I always used to think of Canelo. Correct. Or Matchroom, I always used to think of AJ. Right. Same thing. It, when you think yeah. of Showtime, when you think of Showtime, and it's no different. It's like you build any brand. The brand has to be known for something. You understand what I'm saying? Like Showtime so, boxing is kind so of so basically. So basically what you're saying, and the opportunity, the way this card is set up, and I, I do hope that they fix that card and they put, they swap them six-round fights out and get that uh that Darwin fight in, that Darwin Price-Torres yeah, fight. They need to I get agree. that in. But anyway, that's a, that's, a, that's a side story. But basically what you're saying, it sounds like to me, this opportunity for Boots, to truly be the main event, even though he's a co co headliner, he he has to outshine whatever Budavev and and uh, James do in that rank. His performance has to be memorable for Showtime to start thinking in the lines that you're speaking of. You but, understand but, what I'm saying? But, like but, he um, blunt to respond to what you're saying, not even respond to agree with you. I agree with you one hundred percent. But you know what I feel like is even more important is the fact that the dude's got so many knockouts. He's an exciting fighter, but he's a very, very quiet dude. Out Like he's not got the bravado that Showtime kind of liked. When they had Tank, Tank had that bravado. AB had that bravado. So did Wilder. And they built a brand of the promotion outside of the ring. He kind of needs that as well. He needs that. Tank he needs really- Tank ain't really I mean, much. I, I, no, but he didn't talk, but he had the it was, he had Floyd. He didn't need to talk. Yeah, he Floyd, got Floyd. Yeah. 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 That's I, I see what I see what you're saying. And that's something as his stars starting to be recognized that the team can work on. Something that I think can be overcome. So I understand what you're saying. You can almost get a 
hype, man, if you got to. Because sometimes you just have quiet warriors like that. So you know would be a good, you can, you know I think be a good you can man? work. Hmm. Greg Hackett. Oh, 100%. He would be 100%. perfect, bro. Perfect. Greg Hackett. Um, he would be like Bernie the, Bernie the Boxer. Bernie the Boxer for fun. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah somebody like, like that. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, like I said, sometimes we – I remember looking, remember listening to tapes of dudes after the fight, and you listening to this guy's voice, and you like, was this the same dude just in there throwing sledgehammers? It, it almost doesn't coincide, and I can get that from boxing. So he, he may need to work on that, but what's in the ring, the product is finished to me. It just hasn't been given the platform it deserves. So I, I think the product is there that he can't do nothing but just like outshine whatever happens with Budavev and James. And I wish both of them dudes the best of luck. The performance that Boots puts on has to be, I mean, surgical, homie. It got to be surgical. The boy got to be just nasty with it on some training day with the shotgun. I'm surgical with it, Jake. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? It, it got to be nice like that for facts. So that's, <laughs> he is... I mean, but I get what y'all saying about Showtime. But to me, Boots has to force the issue by really what he's doing in the ring and piling these names up. So in a way, I do agree with those names like Vargas and things like that. Like you get them dudes in there, you start demolishing them within five and there's, stuff there's like that. Yeah. There's, a, there's another route, though. He can go the Tyson way where you start, you fight a whole Cito Lopez of Vargas uh, Avenician back to back to back, like like one month between each other. Like you fight in a January, then you fight in a March, then you fight in a May, then you fight in an August. Like literally just, literally just stack the names up, just start knocking dudes out one by one by one. After a while, people are gonna have to notice you, bro. Because if you're that active, you're you're gonna get noticed, bro. Hey Shane, the route you just said is gonna cause them more problems. Why? Because. Take that scenario you just took, right? He takes a host Cito Lopez, mops him. He takes a Jesse Mark Vargas, mops him. Takes a David Avenition, mops him. None of those fights actually gets him up in the rankings. They're just impressive victories. So that's going to give the top guys more reason to duck him because he's mopping dudes is more talented than the guys he's already mopped. You see what I'm saying? So Wait, he got then a problem. You're, then hold up. Then hold, up. hold up, though. But what you're saying, though, Doing that route, he'll get the support of like Showtime. He'll get the Showtime base. So Showtime will have the bag to really offer these champs that I gotta really think about this scenario. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I, I I'm thinking you arguing against yourself when you say that though. Nah, it's a combination, but a cop, but it's a combination of that. And yes, he needs the networks, but he needs the sanctioning bodies. Well, I, they're not I, I, gonna pull him. They're not gonna pull him from if he's ranked ninth or eighth, and he's going on a run like that. They're not gonna grab him from the eighth or ninth spot and give him a title shot, regardless I, I, of the route he goes in. He's gonna I, have to get to that mandatory spot. He went to force somebody to fight him. They're not I gonna openly you, fight. You, they're not gonna openly fight him. I get you, but also, bro, you also gotta look at consensus though. If he does that, the general consensus from the fans will be when they see. Errol Spence or Crawford or whoever's champion, whether it's Port or Ugas, they're going to be like, why are you not fighting Boots? You can't avoid him. His name will be in every fan's journalist's mouth because it's hey, someone you see all the time. Shane, gonna can, be... I, can I tell you why that's not going to work? Why? Because we've seen it not work with Spence. His name was in everybody's mouth when it came down to but tournament. He wasn't fighting Danny. dogs like that. He wasn't fighting dogs. He fought Chris Algeri. Hey, but he fought... Shane, Forget who he forget who he fought. He had the top guy in the sport supporting him. He had Floyd. He had Floyd in his back pocket. Floyd was supporting him the whole time. Floyd was trying to get him to keep Thurman fight. He was trying to get him to Danny Garcia fight. None of them dudes would touch him. The only way Spence got to where he is is because he forced himself into a mandatory spot against Kell Brook, and he had to go to the main country to go get that. If it no, wasn't for that, that, he'd be in the same no, spot. No, but the truth is that's because he he, he was going to have to go because that's where the most money was, but. I get your point. 
I get your point. He's not. He boots is not. Boots not gonna get to. Boots need a. Boots need one of those titles. He needs to become a mandatory to do it. He's gonna have to force somebody to give him the shot. They're not gonna openly do it. They're not gonna get overpaid to do it because they can get overpaid I mean, to fight somebody that's not as good as Boots. I mean, I, I I love I love Crawford, but I even heard the other day when they were asking him about the fights coming up, he did not mention Boots, and then someone asked him about Boots. And then he then spoke about boots, which I found so funny because I'm like, it is, he you know, know about boots. He know what's popping. He exactly. Know what's popping. He, he, yeah. Even he knows. Even even Crawford of all people knows. Yeah, boots is a problem. Even boots Crawford is of a problem. All people but I think yeah. But I'm like boots. I mean, uh, Bud and Spence are the only two that could possibly beat boots. Mm-hmm. You know, only two. Nobody else in the division is beating boots. And Sean is gonna give him a tough night at the office, but he's gonna lose too. Those only two that's gonna give him problems. It's so unfortunate because he's literally in a situation where everybody's just gonna sidestep him and use the excuse that he's not a name. That's Can the I, excuse that they're gonna. I gotta. Use. I got I'm gonna put question. it to you like this. this. No, this ain't even a fantasy. This is facts. It sounds like the route to the title is Porter beating Bud, bringing the WBA. Go back to PBC, Allen them um, making boots for the fight. That sounds like agree. to me, out I of agree. all of this shit that we saying, Porter has to beat Bud to bring one of them belts back. That that's an automatic fight scenario. Cause I, who else did it? Thurman doesn't deserve it. He's inactive. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the result. No, because whatever happens with this little mini tournament, that person is going to end up saying Spence when he gets his eye socket right. So, you yeah. know what I mean? This is interesting, man. I mean, I, I like it, though. I, 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 have the, the, I like for the chances, too. So I don't but, care what but, nobody but the, say. I, it, but, that's the, a, but the problem is... He yeah, go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead. Mind me to cut you off, bro. No, you good. You he good does, question. Let, let he the does, man do his thing. Go ahead, man. I was going to say, he doesn't even need Porter to win. Because <laughs> this is Crawford's last fight with, with Top Rank. Yeah, but see, even with even with that, let's just say Crawford doesn't sign with Top Rank and he signs with PBC. Like, Boots could still not get that fight. He could still not get that fight. Because they because in, in PBC's best interest, it'd be best for them to put Bud against Spence. It just make more business. Sorry, sense. man. Yeah, Thurman. Nah. Port. It's a lot of things. No, nah, they they would milk him. They they would milk him. Yeah, yeah, they, they would milk. They would milk him if they was able to get there. They wouldn't I, put I, him I, in the flames like that. Not coming through yeah. the front door, and he wouldn't allow it. Yeah, he I wouldn't think allow business it. wise, he wouldn't allow it. I agree. I, I I got a fantasy question. I think Vlog will like this one. Boots goes up to one fifty four and go see Jamel right now. Right now. He loses. He loses. Who loses? He loses. Who loses? Boots loses. He loses. Boots to Jamel loses right now. against Jamel right now. Right now, Jamel is still in the top five pound for pound fighters. Man, what you talking about, man? man this man got three straps. Man. He just came off an unrecognized unification fight. They just straight stole it from him. I mean, that's just. The poorest judging I've seen in a while oh, with a close on, bro, fight. I understand not, the fight close. They did not. Bro, that man me. won that fight by one or two rounds, easy. But that's one or two rounds. He was bopping dude all over the place. Yeah, you give somebody a draw, that's still in it because the dude was going to lose his belt. So a draw is still in it for Jamel. If you're looking at it from but, Jamel's perspective, but many people thought Costano won. I thought Costano won. That's because they. Wrong. I there was no draw. Yo, we listen. can look at that fight again. I it's... know I had Mel up one, two rounds, but no. Right now, answering your question, no, bro, he does not beat Mel right now. What about you, Shane? Fantasy I, I, question like the, you asked. Just, I just, like, just like with Spence and just like with Errol, personally, I need to see more from Boots before I make him a favorite against none of the top dudes. I need to see more. And I know when I, when YSM say, oh, you just don't know, I'm like, bro, you got to understand, there's so much things that we haven't seen. Like what Blunt always says, we never see the dude get punched in the mouth yet. We don't know how he takes a shot. We don't know how he fights when he's tired. 
We don't know how he fights when things get difficult. We don't know how he fights when he just loses a round. <clears throat> in, in his career, he has won every single round his entire fight. In every single fight, he's won every round. He's never had any adversity. To, so to say he's going to beat Charlo is just a bit too far. I need to see more from the dude. I'm not saying he's going to lose, but for me to just say he's going to win, that's blind faith, bro. That can I get blind a, faith. Can, can I throw your quote out here for your for, for the uh, material that's coming up soon? You know, we got some apparel coming out. And I'm going to go ahead and put the quote out there. Seems to me like he hasn't passed the VP Shane's eye test. Not, not, not with flying Am I colors. Correct? Can I say that? Not, not with, not with flying colors. He's, he's the, he's the greatest. He's the greatest, and I'll say this: he's the greatest natural talent that I've seen. But there's still things I still need to see. There's still things I need to see. Not saying he's gonna Yo. fail it, but there's still I, things I need to see. Bro. I, Yo, I, I guess to answer my own question. Him and Jamel in my eyes will be a 50-50 fight. I think it'll be a 50-50 fight. Um, I'm I'm not gonna say um, Boots that. would beat Jamel. I'm not gonna say Boots would beat Jamel, but I would say going into it, uh, talent for talent, skill for skill. I would I would say is it would be a 50-50 fight. Um, is it 50-50 with Bot? No. No. Is it 50-50 with Spence? No. I don't care what I don't care what anybody in that gym or why some guys say. No. But no. why is it 50-50 with Mel? Because I think Bud is more talented than than uh than Charlo. And I think I think Spence fights better than Charlo. Fights smarter. Uh, yeah. I think fights I smarter. Think- I think Spence fights way smarter than Charlie. Smart. Charlo. He's Char- smart. he's Charlo's smarter. very gifted, but he's very dumb. Yeah, he 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 he. Yo, I listen. I and this for my man. This for my man. Keep it respectful. Let's keep it respectful. Let's this for no, my but man. Even, vlog. even Derek James he, will say he's dumb because yo, he, Derek James is getting onto the dude in the ring. He's like, bro, why are you fighting like this? Why yo, are you fighting like this? I yo if. And the thing is, it's an emotional thing because I know Charlo has the IQ. He's shown me in too many fights his boxing IQ. It's the fact that his emotions get the best of him inside of the ring. And that's the difference between him and a Bud, him and a and a and a Spence. That's why I say brother. Him and his brother. Hold up, bro. Now, now I can counter that. I can counter that argument because we can say the same thing about Bud. He ain't been in no dog fight. He about to be in a dog fight. So what y'all saying, Boots, or what Shane is saying, Boots hasn't completely shown us, and I tend to agree, I feel the same way about Crawford. He's been talking about, like, okay, I got to adjust round to round. I got to foot on the gas from round four to round eight, just nonstop. I, we haven't seen this from Bud either. So, I mean, has Bud passed the eye test to you guys? He passed the eye Y'all test. Y'all ranking him pretty high. He uh, he's higher, than, okay, he's so higher than Jamel, I'll tell you that much. He, he's oh, so, he has a, so, so Bud has a better resume than Jamel? He's a better I, fighter. Than he's Jamel. a better fighter. I I don't think he's a better resume than Jamel. No, he's a better fighter. He a better fighter though. Better, okay. I know. I know. Well, I know so, Crawford, but, so, but, so, but, so, basically, flipping, changing out your, your fantasy question, mm-hmm. Bud beats Jamel at one for one fifty four right now. Right now. Right but, now. but 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 even but even if he doesn't that. though. But one second, even if he doesn't though, just because. Just because I think someone's a better fighter doesn't mean I'm gonna I pick them to win a fight. I think Anue is a better fighter than Jamel Charlo, but he's not gonna win in a fight because there's a size advantage. It's just that's just the fact. Some people can be a better bro, fighter. Bro, we talk about hold up, bro. You not no bro, we ain't talking about two two we ain't talking that's about two way classes. We ain't talking about nothing. It's story. Talking about next floor. Yeah, up. we talking about Next just, floor up. just, just, just water weight, really, bro. For a boxer, it, that's it, water it, weight. So, nah, bro. These, these are plausible. This is a plausible. 
It's not the next. Yeah, year. that's what I said. It's, this is a. It is too. One forty-seven to one fifty-four. That's the next. What are you saying, Shane? Bro, 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 it's not because Crawford is not a natural one forty-seven. Yes, he he's is. Not Shane, no, he's he's, not, yes, he is. How long no, he been in one forty-seven, Shane? Huh? Shane, how long has he been in one forty-seven? Don't give me that. I mean, he's a natural don't, one. For Shane, okay. Shane, don't give me that. Shane. Okay, Shane, Shane. I see where you coming from, Shane. Shane I see where you coming from, Shane. But, but, I see where you coming from. Where, 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 how long where, where has he been in 147? Cool, but we're talking. We're talking. He like, know he lost his argument already. No, I can tell by his no, no, bro. He, he got I, I feel it. This is why I feel like it's not fair, bro. This is why I feel like it's not fair. Because I'll tell you, Crawford is a dude who's moved up the weight classes. At some point, you're going to max out. And I think 147 is where he's maxed out. Max, I, can, I can understand that. I can understand that. I still... Uh, I'm I still edge, not answering my question. I edge Mel because of size, too. You you still not answering my question. Well, how long has he been in... He's been how, how it, how, for three years. For three years or four years. So, three years. So he's not a natural 140... He's not natural 147 right now. When you look at but he's right maxed. Out, he's maxed out his body, bro. Why? Why is, he ma- body. why is he maxed out? Because he's not a small one forty-seven. He's not small. Well, he is a small one forty-seven. He's not a small one forty-seven. Bro, he's a small one forty-seven. Bro, he's not a small one forty-seven. I can name. Bro. I can name seven one forty-seven that's bigger than him. I can name bro, ten. Do you know? Do you know who? Do you know? You yeah. know what his? You know what his bring-in weight is? He reminds me of a Thurman. Now Thurman is a small one forty-seven. Tell him. Bro, the dude was literally. He reminds me of Thurman, though. He was, a, he was, a, he was almost a mini man against. He just Kelbrook. wore skull. He was literally a mini man against Kelbrook. Look how small he was in comparison to Kelbrook. Back size, his leg size, his 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 whole entire body was just way smaller than Kelbrook. Where, way smaller than Jeff Horn. Where 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 did Kel, where did Kelbrook body end up? On the floor. On exactly, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. But that's I'm just talking about size. Yeah, I'm but he's not a size. small. But he's not. He's not small. You talking about guys that are that are not supposed to fight at the weight at all. Well, Jeff Horn not supposed to be fighting at 147. Kell Brook not supposed to be fighting at 147. These guys are 154s, 160s parading down to 147. Sean ain't even supposed to be fighting at 147. He fought you sick for God's sake. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to. That's probably the last man to actually beat Yusuf. Is Sean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, when it comes down to it, like, Bud is not like a small 147 compared to other like natural welterweights. Like, he's a full fledged welterweight. Like, he's a full fledged 147. You know what I'm saying? Full okay, I don't think he's maxed out. I think 154 is his max out, though. I think 154 okay, is his max out. Fair enough. But I, think that's, I think the same thing for Danny, though, and Keith. But they're going to have to... Go ahead. What's Errol's max out, then? 60. He hasn't moved up once, though. Yeah, that's because he can make the weight. Why go up when you can make the weight? Would you pick him to be... Would you pick Errol to be Jamal Charlo? Jamal? No, he loses to Jamal. You pick him to beat Jamal? Yep. Cause he fights smarter. Ain't got nothing to do with size or nothing like that. I know. I know when Spence stepped into the ring, he gonna do everything that has to be done from a technical aspect of when he gonna put win. himself in the best position to win. win. I can't yeah. say the same about Jamel. Jamel does. Jamel does things inside the ring, and I just be like, why? <laughs> like he did it in the Tony Harrison fights. He he's done it in the Castano fights. He just does things, and I'm just like, why? Like why? Like that that's the thing that troubles me the most about Jamel. And I love Jamel. Love Jamel. But even Stay Ready said it yesterday. Like he just goes in there and is uh, we like, bro, like, what are you doing? He makes fights so much harder than what it has to be. Because he's more athletic than Jamal. He got more physical talent than Jamal. Jamal is just a better fighter. He's just a better fighter inside the ring because he fights smarter. And this whole pound for pound top five. You need to get rid of that. Blunt, come on now, come on now. What, come what, on happened? Blunt, what happened? You need to get rid of that top five pound for pound. He's not top who's five. Th- pound who's top five? I, I, I'm top not five. going for me. This is mine. You said Jamel top five? Yeah, I, I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been putting Mel in the top five. I ain't took him out. 
I don't care yeah, about all these other lists they that. got out here. That's yeah, he's been consistent with that. Yeah, bro, this no, man got the straps and they up. just stole I'm the belt you from need me. To take him up. I think you oh. need to take him out. No, I no, actually, Vlog is doing a lot better than he did before because at one point he said Charlo was number one. Pat oh, yeah, that's true. So he's is actually he scaled back. Is he in your top five yet? But that was that was that was the coming into the fight hype ranking, you know what I mean? So that was pre fight right. already giving him Understood. the unification. So Understood. now that that didn't happen, I seen the performance, I still thought he won, thought the performance could have been better. So I do agree with his coach and with what you guys have analyzed throughout his career, but I still think he's an excellent fighter and one of the top boxers on the planet right now. And the straps say it so. I'm just Blunt, saying. He's your top five pound for pound. Blunt, he's your top five pound for pound, in your opinion. It's, it's, it's risky to ask me that right now. It really is, bro, because I wouldn't be totally accurate. But just in general, I got to go with Taylor. Got to go with T.O. See, me, I'm, I'm tending like off the top. I got to roll with the champs. If y'all got straps, y'all heavy with it. Got to respect your boxing ability to get there because you didn't get there by buying them titles. Y'all don't see Gary Russell Jr. on that list. So I'm talking about <laughs> dudes that went in there and earned it. So right, so right now, I just got to recognize more of the, the two, three belt champions and the four belt champion. Obviously, if you want to be honest, he would definitely be sitting at the top. Got to recognize a Usyk right now. You know what I mean? Respect mm-hmm. what he did in that fight and his ability to real box. So, yeah, my, mine's, just, mine's just changed up from that no, favoritism my, my sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yours, bro, my one ain't that far from yours. If I'm being honest, I would have Usyk in mind. I would have Taylor in mind. I probably have, um, what's it called, my dude? Um, probably have a new way in there. Probably have a tier female Lopez, yeah, see? maybe a Errol Spence. Yeah, yeah, Fair yeah. Enough. I, I, Fair I enough. can respect Earl because I like the bounce back fight and what he did against Danny. Got hurt again, but you know that happens in life. Shit, I've been beat up a few times, and, and I ain't and in there getting punched in the face like that. So I got to really top. Why is Canelo not in my top five? I just need to see how he performs with Vardy testing. That's all I want to see. That's all I want to see. That's all cool I want to see. Man, you stole man. the words. You you stole my thought, man. We all think alike. You stole you stole my thought because I if he gets yeah. it, I gotta put him in that slot. Him in that top five. I got to. I, I just yeah, got he, to. He if he if he handles plant. If he handles plant, because wood vod wood vod testing, and he beats the brakes off plant, he might. He's in my top three for sure. Yeah, it's in my top three top for sure. Five. Let me get in. Let me get in the uh, comment section real going quick. Top three. I'm going top five. That's fair. That's fair. No problem with that. No problem with that at all. Family of the channel, man. My bro, Padman McGriff in the building, man. What's going on, true player? Uh, the Hitman is in the building. What's going on? He said, "What's up with you, um, Memphis, Tennessee? Keep uh, being y'all, man. This channel going to be booming. We appreciate that, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, Dwayne Sewell said, Charlo in my top ten, not top five, though." I respect I have that to too. Think about my top ten. I, I got to think. Of, I got to think about my top ten, and that's that's pretty bad because we got a channel. I'm in a website, but <laughs> I got to no, think about the that. The truth is, the truth is a lot of change since that. The truth, yeah. Because whilst there's certain fighters who haven't fought but would have normally been in my top ten, but not in my top ten because they haven't fought anymore. Like I think if Baturbiev goes out and waxes um, Marcus Brown, he's gonna be round about there. He's gonna be round yeah, about there. I yeah, I, I just off the top of the dome, Usyk would definitely be in my top five. Um, Bud is in my top five. Definitely. Um, Spence is in my top five. Um, Anui is in my top five, and Taylor. Them five. Um, outside of that, can, uh, can I admit is, something right now? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. I just want to admit, if we talking top ten, I do have to mention this and be honest about it. I would put Fury oh, in there no. just because no. he's a champion and he's the I biggest dude on the planet. So 
I thought you were gonna say a, I thought you were gonna nah. say Emmanuel Tardy there. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say Tardy. Nah. I, I swear nah. I'm not gonna say Tardy. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> nah, I ain't, ain't, nah, I ain't, ain't, nah, I'm being real right now. We talking real. You know what I'm saying? All them other times I just be trying to get my boy a little shine until he get that fight. That's all. But no, nah, being real though, top ten. I gotta get Fury the props. You know what I mean? He seemed yeah, to win definitely. that last one yeah. from Fair and Square. Yeah. You know, he was 400 pounds, but, you know, I'm, you know, <laughs> it is what right. it is. Right. Yeah. This is how I, you know Black's I, a real boxing fan, by the way, because I see a lot of Wilder fans on YouTube. They've gone hiding since <laughs> since Wilder's lost. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, they, they once, once Wilder lost, I was like, you're going to find out the real I, channels. You're going to find out the real channels. Some like, of these you know guys are on milk. Milk, milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I off the top of the dome though, beyond number <laughs> five, I would definitely say Fury is in my top ten. I do put heavyweights in my top ten. Um Would you put Baturbia be in there? Mm, maybe. Maybe. You have to think about it. because I, I gotta think about that. Cause if I if because if I'm I need, I, I so need, I need a bit. on the same mm -hmm. go ahead, bro. Yeah, I, I, I think that that what he said earlier about the results of the brown fight, I think that's a big, big Right inside that that top ten, top twelve area for me for Baturbia. Yeah, I, get you. I would true. say, yeah, I would say. So it's a bunch of guys that's along that same that same line. So you say Baturbia for me, uh, Charlo Jamel, uh for me if he if he gets he corrects that uh, Castano yeah, situation. Definitely. He goes out and beats. Castano, he beats Castano definitely. definitely. Um, um, what about uh, what about? Um, Tiafimo Lopez, you didn't mention Tiafimo. Tiafimo's in my top ten. Yeah, he's in my definitely. 100%. He's definitely in my top ten. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Canelo, if he beats Canelo, if he beats Plant, Plant, he's definitely in the top ten. I would say. Uh, if what I'm, about Estrada? I can't. You can't ask me that. I know why I can't answer you that. Because yeah, <laughs> most people do say Estrada, but that's because they think that's because he beat I, Chocolatito. Estrada, you, he got Chocolatito <laughs> problems, man. I, I, I oh. felt like he lost that fight um, and he got what to fight about Chocolatito the again. Oh, Figueroa and Fulton. That's what I was going to bring up right now. Are we including pure boxers and when we start I, adding the rest of our top 10 in? Because I would have to put boots in there. For I real, can't. even though he don't got I a major can't. strap, I can't. Based on his resume, bro, this man like twenty seven and 0, 28 and 0 with like twenty six knockouts, bro. bro this, this, it's the <laughs> bro, it's the equivalent, a hey, bro. It's the equivalent of going on a European tour. It's the equivalent of going on a European tour, and they'll tell you that he needs to get some names. Kudos. He, he needs Kudos. some names. Kudos. He needs some names. Kudos. I, I, I will, Shane. To answer your question, that. though. To answer your question, though, Shane. If Brandon Figueroa wins, oh yeah. If Brandon Figueroa wins, you've got to put him in there. In the top ten. If Fulton wins, I, I still need another dub or two from him. What about Shakur? Uh, not yet, or not yet. not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I, I listen, that, that that was hot now as it, as impressed as I was, and mm -hmm. you know, we had to give him his flowers. Not not yet. Not yet. Um mm -hmm. Yes. I got one. What if, yeah. what if Castano beats Charlo? Damn, does that get him top 10? I get him in there because he have all the belts, but it wouldn't get him in there on pure boxing for me. I, is, I just are we talking, I think he was lucky. I think he missed so many shots. Shara, bro, so we his accuracy is terrible. So we talking to Shara and then Charlo. And, La and Laura that. and Eric and Laura. Laura and Laura. Um, oof. I had to be no, honest with you. He, I would say he no. I would say no. Touched in that Laura no. fight. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because even if yeah. he beats a Charlo, because he has the belt for still, me, I would. Yeah, I I wouldn't. Me personally, because yes, I factor in the belts, but I also look at it like. When they come down to it, who do I think is a better fighter? So even if he had all the belts and Paterbiev goes in there and mops Marcus Brown, I'm still taking Paterbiev above Castano. Oh, yeah, I think definitely. he's the better fighter. He's the he's just a better fighter. 
in my opinion. I think he'll still be on the outside of my I'm top a, 10. I'm going to ask a question. I'm, probably, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to hear from you. What about Breedis? I just have to ask. He's on the outside, but kind of about default, though. He's if he beats a Coley, if he beats a Coley. He's in my top 10. He's in my top 10 if he beats a Coley. He's in yeah, my top 10. Breedis is a problem. Up, I got him about 15. I got him about 15, he's about, but he's in my top 15. if he can get that other name on there, yeah, I put him, I slide him up to that 10, that 11 area for me. I, I like what he did. I remember the mirror, so I respect that one. Oh, that was that was a major. Yeah, remember the mirror. Man, <laughs> yeah, the mirror was legendary. Man. Uh, yo, my man Cruz in the building, man. He said, I just had this talk in the gym uh, the other day. Crawford is a small 147, but Earl fights Mikey and which – he is a big 147, which he never fought in the weight class, and Bud has been. He said, I, I just had uh what's that? I just had this talk. They say Crawford is small, but Earl Spence, oh, that's the same comment. Um, and he said Bud had three or four stoppages. Um, Conrad said, Where is Loma in your rankings? Dwayne Sewell laughing. Dwayne Sewell said, No vlog. My man Rob Acosta in the building. What's going on, player? Um, Cruz said it's Thurman top five because he beat everyone Earl beat first. Um, we're gonna get to that in a, fe- in a minute. Oh, Clarence McLean and Clarence McLean in the, he did, he did. He in the building. That's a, that's a lie, he didn't because when 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 Kel Brook was at his best, Errol beat him and Cooper and and um, Thurman didn't. I'm just being fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, Rob, are you in Vegas? I want to say he is. You in Vegas, bro. Um, There's a lot of good fighters in the sport, man. Oh, like, definitely. When you actually think about it, like, you can go top 20, and I can make the argument that if, if Cool Boy Steph beats Brandon Figueroa, he just makes the top 20. No, oh, he'll make, yeah, he'll be easily top 20 for me. Easy. I could, I could, yeah. Like he's a right. to me, he's a better version of Tevin the Farmer. If you want to talk pure boxer, I think yeah, he's definitely. a better version yeah, of that, that pure agree. boxer. Yeah, he's and and uh, Cool Boy Steph is a dog, and I'm not saying <laughs> Farmer's not a dog, but he's a dog offensively. Um, what, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what about? I said that in my preview video. Yeah, this is, a, this is a dude who I want to see get a big fight. Navarrete, I want to see him get a big fight. Yo, I like Navarrete, yo. I like Navarrete, man. But you know who he gonna need though? He gonna need Gary. Yeah, and I pick him to beat Gary right now. I, I swear think to God, people, I think but people, Gary but right people, now. but people, but no. F- facts is, people talking about Navarrete just going to one thirty and getting some real smoke and maybe getting a bag. So I, that's still like an that. option. He ain't got to hang around and wait for dude that want to play hide and go seek. Navarrete <laughs> and Shakur. Yeah, that's a good fight. That's I mean that fight. that was the name that came up. I saw it on I saw it on boxing Twitter. I thought that was intelligent because Navarrete got the frame to carry that sort of weight and still not be like, oh my god, it's, it's just major. You can see the difference. Like he's a, he got the frame to carry them extra few pounds and, and still be in a fight. So. Uh, I I like it. I like it. Yeah. Even Valdez. I like I like him going up against Valdez. Navarrete, Navarrete Valdez is a good fight too. I, I think Navarrete, I think Navarrete beats Valdez. And I'm to not saying fair, that because of the juice. What, I, the Valdez you know what, we Blunt, just saw, oh for sure. Yeah, you know what, Blunt? You're actually right. Maybe it's better if he moves up to 130, because waiting for Gary Russell. <laughs> He gonna have to wait outside his house. <laughs> Man, they hey hey, check this out, bro. They both gonna be getting social security checks by the time that <laughs> fight happens, fact. bro. That shit is a fact. This dude, I don't know what he's doing, bro. He, him, and Thurman is playing. They like, yo, I bet you, I bet you, I don't fight before you do. No, I bet you, you don't fight before. <laughs> like, you gonna fight? They gonna make you fight? I ain't gotta fight. Yeah, I man, I ain't gotta fight. All I gotta do is talk on the mic and whoopie whoop, man. Cause you don't hear, I ain't seen Gary in <laughs> shit, bro. He the winner of hide and go seek. Gary, you want to come out and talk to us, bro. That's funny. I, you know, the thing that's funny and it's like when you ask him why he sits out so long 
he, his excuse is like the top names don't want to fight him and he don't want to waste his time with anybody else. That's why, but see, that's why I'm like, when you take guys like Andre, and Andre is even though he's not fighting the guys that we want him to fight, but he's staying busy. That's why I don't really get at his neck about that because I'm like, you have a guy, if you have a guy like Gary Russell and he's not fighting anybody, he's not like not fighting anybody, period. It's kind of like mm-hmm. either I'm going to get what I want or I'm going to sit on the sidelines and he's been sitting on the sidelines. So I'd rather deal with the Andre fighting guys that we don't want to see him fight, but he's staying active until he gets his opportunity Versus a Gary Russell where he's sitting uh, on the couch with us. And we have to be fair. And I don't, I keep, it, seems, it sounds like I'm a real Andre fan right now because I'm going to defend him. He has got, he's had fights what dudes have turned down. So that's true. That's true too. That's true too. And that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, when it come when it come down to it, man, like when you in that position, you either got to stay active or sit on the sidelines. And it's like for guys that staying active, I, I can't, I can I can talk about him, but I can't ultimately. I will trash a Gary Russell before I trash a, a, a Andre, because at least Andre's jumping in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody's just sitting on the sidelines, and it, it then on top <clears> of that <throat> vlog, they, he sits on the sidelines, right? But then he tells people that he deserves certain opportunities. I'm like, bro, you ice cold in these streets. You ice cold in these streets. I mean, let's keep ice it cold. cold. Like he. Obviously, um, the yeah, Ray I mean, Vargas that would have yeah, been. He was calling out mad names too, bro. I, yeah, that's bro. That's the biggest thing he's known for for the past year and a half. Didn't he call out Devin Haney? He called out Devin Haney. He called out Bud. Who else Bud. He called out? Oh yeah, he, he called, called out Bud. Bud. He called he out, out, Bud. out Bud. He called with, out. with Crawford. Yeah, and Tank. That's, and Tank. That's the biggest. Yo, much, that's bro. that's what he's known for for the past eighteen months. That's sad. I think I think good. he's the one black fighter that <laughs> that Bud took so down against. <laughs> like, like Blunt literally took so down against uh Gary Russell. <laughs> yeah. Uh Clarence, uh Clarence said uh Bro, because he's talented, bro. Yo, he yo, Pat, yo. Yo, hey Clarence, that's funny, yo. Yo, Thurman do look like Thurman do look like one of them pastors on one of them uh one of them churches that be in them infomercials like three, four in the morning. He yeah, look like one of them man with his slick back. Yeah, and what you say? Back. Hey, what you say? What you say? Hank is deacon. Yeah, Hank, <laughs> Hank, Hank Lundy, the, Hank Lundy, Lundy the deacon. Yeah, you know saying got the pointed, got the pointed gators. Gators out. You know what I'm <laughs> big shout out to uh, big shout out to Hank Lundy. That's that's a family right there. Uh he said Gary should fight Leo Santa Cruz. I just want Gary to get off the couch, man. Like I I'm real shit. I, I just want him off. I just want him fighting somebody. Like at this point, I don't even care who he fight. Like it's just like, bro, you've been holding up the division for a long time, bro. And it's so much smoke at 126. Hey. It's so much smoke at 130. Like, let's get it. Like, let's let's get it. I'm 122. And 122. And, and then on top of that, bro, the hey, even hey. worse. I'm like, you're Let supposed to have Al in your back pocket. You're supposed to have Al in your back pocket, and you still can't get no fights? What are you saying, Blunt? Go ahead, Blunt. Ma- hey, this is this this cap of all caps. I know it's some OGs in, in the building. Anybody remember that boxing movie, Great White Hype, that had, had uh, Damian Wayans? He was, yeah, I yeah. guess, the heavyweight yeah. champ or whatever. Yeah. And he had got fat. That when we talking <laughs> Gary Russell, and this nigga said, get off the couch. That is the fucking picture that came in my head, bro. I was like, oh my God, this nigga Russell gonna look terrible. I, I swear to God, bro, I don't know why that popped in my head, but when you said for this nigga to get off the couch, I was like, bro, he gonna be out of shape, bro. It's gonna take a lot of work to get him back in the ring once he get him off the couch. Did you That's ever bad. think this guy could ever fight two times a year? Ever? Nah. Nah. What was what was uh damn what was that old movie? What was that old movie with uh ain't got the, ain't got Eddie the marbles. Murphy? You know how Gary Russell act? Remember that old movie vlog with uh with uh Eddie Murphy when he was the boxer? What was it called? I Spy? And he was um damn, what was his name in that movie? I Spy, um, yeah. Yeah, um, that's how Gary Russell act. Like, just oh, <laughs> yo, what was his name? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, talking in third person and all that kind talking of shit. Talking in third person and all that. That yeah, shit like, was that's hilarious. Gary Russell. That's that's Gary Russell. Like you know, what I'm saying like it's it's crazy, man. Like I'm like it's it's so much smoking one twenty six, so much smoking one thirty. Like he can come in and just, I mean, shit. Like he can fight Ray Vargas. He can fight Galahad to be a good fight for him. Leo Santa Cruz would be a good fight for him. I can Not name out ten. Navarrete would be a good fight. He can move up to one thirty. Go see Shakur, a couple of other people. Like I, I mean, it's it's about ten fights off the top of the dome. I mean, he could even still fight someone like Bacho. He can fight Bacho. He can fight Valdez. Um, to be honest with you, he can fight Chris Colbert. Uh, Neri would be a good fight because Neri, Neri, be Neri might fight. need to move. Neri, Neri might need to move up. Neri would be a good fight. Um, actually, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind seeing Tugs get another shot at uh get, at Gary in a comeback fight. I know he already beat him, but I mean, should he need to come back against somebody? Or oh, Jojo Diaz, who he Jojo beat Diaz, Jojo. Kevin he, Farmer. Farmer is, bro, it's about 15, 20 names he could fight right now. And the fact that he's just sitting on the sidelines, man, like, I don't care what's going on behind the scenes. Like, there's no, there's no reason for you to be a champion and you got Al in your back pocket and you can't yeah, that's fight. A fact. I, I just I, I don't understand it. I mean, I your understand. brother this guy, came this guy, this guy, out of nowhere. Point. Was on Showtime consecutive fights. Yeah, he Ooh. they like he letting his brother take the steam because his brother came yeah, out of like, nowhere. I with, like his Pete, brother uh, or Fox to Showtime. Antoine about that so, action, and I think he got Antoine. a fight coming up. Yeah, yeah I think uh, L Dub said he had a fight coming up. Yeah, Antoine about that action. Yeah, I'm gonna look like, that up and sure. double check. Clarence McLean said, "Only in America, dying." Hey, but uh, that's the fact. Go ahead, bro. Hey, but hey, can we tap into this tourney though, bro? Uh, this little mini tourney. I mean, we got outcomes. We talking welterweight, and we acting like you know that, that we ain't got a main event because the main event ain't boots. The main event is who the Jamal James. Jamal James. And what Bataille. is it, Shane? Retired. I know Bataille. Jamal Bataille. James. What's his name? Budavell. No, I like Budavev better. Better. Bataille, the boy Budavev. Right, this guy. <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm still trying to think of Eddie Nur Murphy name in Ozfy. Yo, this shit is this shit is killing me. What was the name Blunt said <laughs> yesterday that he that, 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 that was so funny. It's Batayev, bro. Batayev. He gonna pronounce it however he yeah. <laughs> he just Boo Taya. It's boo. It was damn. What was Eddie? But Bataya, it looked it, all right. Bataya, I, I like Budaviev. It sound better, but it, it just rolled off the tongue better. Bataya <laughs> sound like pate or something like that. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, he know I'm fucking with him. He a solid Yo, dude. Though. He, he 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 gonna love me though, man. He come on the channel and shit, man. He what? gonna love me. Yo, what's his name? Tell somebody Kelly. Look it up, bro. Yeah, what what's his name? Are Kelly. You doing right now, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm still trying to think of this name. <laughs> Kelly Robinson. That was his name. Kelly Robinson. Oh my gosh, Jeff. Kelly oh, Robinson. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Kelly Robinson. Kelly Robinson. <laughs> Kelly Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> you so far, bro. Let that go. <laughs> yo, I had to stop the show to figure that out, yo. Bro, you need to you need to get your priorities <laughs> straight. <laughs> yo, uh, Kelly Rob it was gonna kill me, man. It was gonna kill me, man. Kelly Robinson, man. That's, that's Gary Russell. The nigga literally waiting like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, man. I, I had to, bro. I had to. I yo, as far as the tournament goes, uh I mean, I don't I don't think Stan Yonas beats who guys, me personally. Um, I just don't so think who wins Stan Yonas. Who guys? Who wins the whole Ugas. thing? Ugas. 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 Out the four? Who yeah. guys? Who with Bataille or Jamal James? Yo, I like Bataille. I got Budaviev. I, I got <laughs> Bataille winning the whole thing. You know, he said like he tried I got to say Bataille winning the whole thing. He tried to try to say like he said Budapest. <laughs> yeah, I like See, Bataille, got, man. That's where they was at in the movie. They yeah, was know, over there yeah, in Budapest yeah, yeah. in that goddamn movie. I'm, I might watch that. I might. I might watch that movie after this live, I, yo. I, I, and I'm, I, I'm picking. I'm picking Jamal James to beat Bataya, you know, in a controversial the points decision. A, I could see that happening. Nah, I think I Jamal. I think. I think Maul might hit the canvas in this one, bro. 
I good. think he might hit Kansas Bataille, in this one. Bataille has got Bataille, Bataille can he get busy? He get busy, and That's he's economical. Fact. He's not like um, uh, how Allen Babbage fights, and hopefully he'll start cleaning that up and fight more at furry uh, flur- flurries and spurts instead of just like balls to the wall sort of thing. Bataille is, is is economical with his heavy shots, bro. So. I'm man, I, I, I think it's problems for Jamal. I wish the brother best of luck, but I, I think Bataev can win it all because he got the power, bro. And as we've seen, if Pacquiao old ass can touch Ugas, I'm goddamn sure Bataev can touch him. And I mean, I mean he ain't what been was chin- funny. Go ahead. Now, I was gonna say, what was what was funny is the fact that. I mean, let's look at Ugas. Ugas for Porter. He done well in the Porter fight, but he has been he's ha- he has had some losses, and his losses have come against dudes you can crack. True, true. It's it's interesting, man. I if I had to put some bread on it, I would I would say Ugas. Um, but I think San San Jonas can fight. San Jonas can fight. It's just you know like. I think when he goes up against Ugas, I, I think Ugas should just it, it'll be a dog fight. But I think. But how just did Danielis get a title shot before Boots? Um, because the fights that he was taking, taking, he was going up the rankings. Oh, that's so a shout out! Big shout out to uh, Eric H in the building. With the dollar ninety nine super sticker, we appreciate you, player. He is still in class, if I'm not mistaken. Um, big shout out to him. He said, "I'm back for a second. What the hey, I'll be it? right back. All right, y'all. Um, Eric H. About well, the, wait, basically, yeah, the WBA situation, this whole regular title, super title stuff. Jamal James, Bataev, um. Stanionis and Ugas. I think Stanionis and Ugas is a good fight. I, I fight. you know what, bro, fights are probably 50-50 fights. Yeah, I think so. Said, are we talking about a hypothetical tournament about the welterweights? No, we talking about the little small, the little small WBA. tournament they got going on WBA. So it's Ugas versus Stanionis, and, and the winners got, fight each other. Yeah, and Jamal James and Batayev, and um, the winners fight each other. So that's the actual tournament that's going on right now, Eric. So um, I would love to see the winner of that tournament fight, Boots. Yeah, that'd be great. I actually think I actually think Boots and Stan Jonas would be a real good fight. Boots and Stan Jonas would be a real good fight, um, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, one forty seven is is it's just two different tiers, man. You got the popular me, names, and then you got everybody else. For me, I just look at. Jamal James, and I just don't see him winning this tournament. No matter how, no matter who it is, I just don't see. For some reason, I don't. I've never really, ha- I've never really been a massive fan of this dude. I think he can fight, but I just think he's just a guy that's always missing something. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Like he just, he doesn't have the one thing that really stands out to me. Like he's kind of just. Kind of just like this all across the board. Like he's like a B across the board. But see, I think Ugas is a B across the board too, but I just think he fight better under them lights. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Eric H, what about Ugas versus Danny Garcia? No Philly biases. <laughs> um, actually, to be honest with you, I, I think uh I think Danny wins that fight. I think Danny can knock Ugas out. Danny's I have yeah, I, I, but I haven't liked the way Danny has looked. Period. I just, I, I don't like the way he's looked. Um, just off momentum. I'm, I, I think I will go Ugas because I just think he'll outwork Danny. I just think he'll outwork him the same way Sean beat him. I, I could see Ugas winning just off of activity. Not even that he's landing a more effective work. Um, but Danny will definitely have a shot um, in the fight for sure. But Danny got to show me something, man. Danny got to show me something. Like I, and I'm from Philly, Eric. You know that I'm from Philly. Like I, I mean, Danny got to show me something because when I think of top welterweights, I'm not thinking Danny, and that's the problem. 
Then he got to show me something. I don't know who he fighting next. He got to show me something. Real rap. He got to show me something, man. Being as though you still in the city right now. Jeff, being as though you yes. still in the city right now, you think Boots and Danny will ever fight? No, never. Never. That'll never happen. That'll never happen. Never happen. What other fights is there this week? Zapata, uh, Zapata's Zapata fighting. and Josue, that's a good fight. I like Josue. I like I like I like Vargas. I like you think Vargas. Vargas beats Zapata. Yes. Yes. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. But I called the but I called the Montana Love win too. And people ain't agree with me. What Montana Love just signed with uh, Eddie. Yeah. Eddie Hearn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a fact. Bro, That's I ain't gonna fact. lie. Uh, mm-hmm. The youngster, he ain't been in there with nobody that got handlebars. So I just think that power might come into play in this fight. See, after the a Patriots. fight like Baranchik, it might take mm-hmm. it might take a couple bouts to really get, get your feet wet again, so to speak. You know what I mean? And you know the Hank Lundy thing, and and, and oh, and just looking at the way old boy, because I just did a preview video, so I hope everybody in the chat get a second to tap into the channel. So anyway, looking at a couple of clips and watching the boy in the last fight with the uh, homie Willie Shaw, the boy Jose Vargas or Josue Vargas, he ain't got no power, bro. None. He ain't got no power against a real fighter. He done beat up a couple, you know what I mean, Walmart employees and whatnot. And, you know, I respect that. You know what I mean? You got to have a certain amount of power to get rid of any man. But just when you're talking elite fighters and that's what Zapata is on the fringe of being, I don't think his power is going. If they go toe-to-toe, Vargas going to sleep. That's just my outcome now that I'm predicting it. I didn't in my video, so I'm predicting it now. I see I see Vargas going to sleep. I mean, if Zapata touches him. If they go in a bang bang fight, there's no way Vargas is winning. Because Vargas, as you said, he just doesn't have the crack. But neither did Hank Lundy, and we saw what Hank Lundy done to Zapata, so it's different. But yeah, that was I right am. after that was right after an old, old 80s style fight, too, though, which we don't get a lot these days. So these fighters might not recover like the old timers used to from wars like that. Yeah, I I don't give a damn neither one of y'all saying, man. I'm, I like Vargas in this fight. <laughs> I'm like, if Hank Lundy, okay. if Hank Lundy can go in there, if Hank Lundy can go in there and basically put Pauls on Cepeda, I think Vargas gonna do the exact same thing. We just gonna yeah, get but, I mean, gonna get you saw Hank Lundy putting Pauls on Cepeda. I saw yeah, Hank I surviving, bro. Surviving. I had. I, I, I don't Hank think I gave. Getting... I gave Cepeda like three yeah. rounds, bro. No, nah, Henry Lundy fought well. He fought real well, bro. He fought real well. I I think I, I think I had it like seven three. I think I had a seven. No, but but the I just watched that Zepeda. fight, bro. Zepeda. I had it three. I gave Hank probably two rounds. I think oh, I gave right. Hank two rounds, bro. You was you was on man. That dude was on the back foot the whole fight, bro. Bro, bro, just bro he was on the back foot the whole fight, fight. I mean, bro. But just, you just told me you just told me in a, a separate situation. Just because a guy is on the back foot or if a guy is on the ropes does not mean they're not putting in good work. You just told me that. Yeah, and that's that's Jamal James style. That's Jamal James style. I give it. But Hank wasn't. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The way well, Hank but, was fighting wasn't effective to be winning. It was effective to survive. To me, the, that's the, the way bro, I, I, I gave I gave you know I, mean? I gave the pay to three rounds, bro. The pay to the pay to the three rounds. The pay to has a problem. The pay to no good too. work. This dude just lacks looking for singles. And yes, that's that's it. That's all this he was gonna, doing against Hank. That's all he was doing against Hank is throwing single that's shots. That's all he's going to be doing this Saturday. Is just but Hank for was singles. moving. So Hank was moving. That? What's wrong with that? I think Vargas is No, but I'm just saying well. when I analyze the fight. Yeah, but no, when no, you're no, moving no. backwards and you're not. No, when you're in the way I saw the fight, I saw Hank moving backwards, avoiding the singles that y'all just said to pay the throws in which right. he's known for. This is how we got 20 some odd knockouts. So that was Hank being uh, defensive, but not being defensive in a in a offensive way. Like I'm a step back and I'm a fire. Mine's going to count. I'm head turning shots. Hank didn't throw barely 10, 15 right. shots to the body. 
But Hank Hank landed the clean of work though all fight. He landed the clean of work all fight long. Zapata ain't yeah. land shit. Okay. He ain't land nothing, bro. I mean, let's keep it real though. If Zapata did land, it would have been over. But dude, that's how Zepeda, we know he didn't land. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying. saying. But the, yeah, the, I Zepeda hold it against him now. Don't get me. Yeah, I hold it against him for not getting rid of Hank. And Hank done been down at least 10, 12 times in his career. So I'm like, you ain't get one knockdown. I, I was surprised at that too. Zapata's a strip club fighter, bro. He's literally a dude that just goes in there looking for singles and throws singles the whole night. Just a strip club fighter, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, in this situation with a guy whose chin has never been tested, it's perfect. <laughs> perfect scenario. To go well, ahead and throw Vargas, these singles. But Vargas is a better technical fighter than Hank. No, do the hell same. no. Yeah, Hell no, is. bro. Hell did you see the? Did Hell you see no. the Willie Shaw fight? Hell no, bro. Hell so that fight was sloppy, so bro. Hank, hold on. So Hank Hank Lundy got better skills than Jose Vargas right now. Yeah, I think so. I you think bugging. so. I just you think. Bugging, I just bro. think. I just nah, think. Hank nah, just, you nah, 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 nah. You bugging. You bugging, Shane. You sure well, you bugging think, on us? I just think Hank, Hank Lundy loses that fight. Hank loses against. He loses against Jose. No, he will lose. He will lose, but he's better technically. He will lose, no, but he's better technically. Hell no, hell no, bro. I hell you. no, and I and I'm from. I'm we in Philly, but bro, hell no. Hank Lundy, Hank Lundy's problems never been technique, bro. His problems never been technique. His problems been the fact that the dude can't crack and his offense ain't that great, and he and he's chinny. That's this dude's always been this dude's problem. His technique's bro, never but been the problem. That's the same person you say is better technically the whole sway though. But I've not mentioned one thing that's technical, bro. Technique. What, if you look what, at what can, what but can, can we be can honest Hank though, bro? Than Jeff, yes. can, he can, can catch we be honest though, thing. Jeff? Jeff, uh huh, mm -hmm. Jeff. Just uh, and, and on the flip side of talking about Jose and, and giving him his flowers, his competition has not been the greatest. Just saying, bro. A lot of fourteen and twelve. Those a lot of a lot of four. Born ten dudes, so he ain't been in there with the most elite competition to really make his southpaw style stand out. He's the edge in this fight is that southpaw style, but that defense I ain't really seen it because nobody tested it. Willie had the opportunity to test it in the last fight and would not use that length to his advantage. I mean, he just kept letting the ball rush him and smother his jab. So he could never get that right hand home. If anybody know Willie Shaw, he's a tall, lanky sort of dude. This is a boy out of Oakland. And he needed that space. He needed the way Jamal James fight. That I need to be wrong behind the jab and get this right hand home. And Jose being the way he was fighting, he was smothering it, but he was also smothering his own offense. So it, it, a pain it was it was an awkward pain. fight. Neither one of these two dudes are coming off outstanding fights. Is the paid a top ten fighter in one forty? No, I fringe, uh, fr fringe. It's the, the 140. 140 we solid. On it's probably the most solid, solid, like filled, like what? filler. Like, what? you know, I was talking about the, the B level dudes. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's yeah. got a lot of fillers. It's got a lot of fillers. He even got dudes like that people don't talk about. Like, even as even though he hasn't fought in a long time, Robert East is 140. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rances, Rances, Bellamy, you got yeah. dudes like that still at one forty. Bro, Gray's at one forty. Yeah, yeah, Zapata's not in my top. 10. It's some, it's some, it's some real names. Robert, Robert used to be. Yeah, he. Right I, now. he beats it, 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 right it, now. I think Rances will get. Rances will beat uh, Zapata right it's now. Is Castle in your top ten? Right now, right on on the edge of. Mm. I seen him rank. I seen him rank. So I, I'd get him. I put him in there just because he he got a different swag from over there. So it's just you know how it is from over there. He's about you, you bring in a different people. kind of yeah. ball game. Let me get my guy Eric in here real quick. Um, he said as of now, Spence Crawford, Porter, Ugas, and Danny are still top five. Well, no, nah, Danny's not top five. Who who do we add or take away from that list? Danny, um, you take Danny I gotta, away from that. Yeah, I gotta take Danny out of that list. Danny, what's that, what's that, Danny ain't even fighting. 
Danny, hell no. Danny ain't no top five. Yeah, five. I, I got to take Danny out of that, Eric. And I'm from the city. Um, Eric said, Hank Lundy kind of reminds me of a Dennis Dovlin type of fighter. He has the tools but never seems to put them together when it matters. That's a good – you know what? That's a good comparison. That's a good comparison. I, even though I think I think um, Hank Lundy – you know that's a damn good comparison. I, I can't they're even. They're both. Say. They're both nearly fighters. They're nearly good. Yeah, nearly I, yeah. Good I, and I like. I like Dublin. I, I like Lundy. But I think you said it best, bro. Like when them lights is on, man. Like, I, and I be looking for that signature performance. I just don't get it. It's kind of like Rosado until his last performance. I'm just like, bro. Like it's right there for the take and go take that. And he finally did that in his last fight. And you know now you got he man you yeah off topic a little bit you brought up Rosado bro I just seen that stoppage from that Golovkin fight I mean that's one of the best stoppages by a corner I've seen in some time because I don't know what the fucking ref or the doctor was doing but the corner dude looked at his dad and was like what the fuck I'm not gonna watch him die in front of me. So they had yeah. to jump up on the rope and get Rosado up out of there. But I, I just I, I just seen that clip earlier. Can I be honest with you? It was a great yeah. stoppage, but it was still two rounds too late. They were still late. Bro, that's my point. No, yeah, bro, that's late. my point. He had been begging them. He had been begging the father for two rounds. The father wouldn't let the fight stop. The dad, yeah. the trainer would was going to get so he did a uh, battle was but at the Briscoe. end they caught the last interaction. You, yeah, you, got, you got a comment, Jeff. Yeah, uh Eric A said, what about Regis? See, he's floating around 140, 147. So I don't feel comfortable putting him in any ranking at 147. No, um, but no, I, but he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's a, to me, he he's a, he's still a top five 140. To me, yeah, he said Regis was a top five 140 at one point. Yeah, I he's still think he's still, I still I think, think he's still top is. five 140. Yeah, I still think he's a top five. I mean, it's hard yeah. to even mention free fight is better than him at 140 right now. Yeah, 140 is, yeah. Is like, Post actually that's still in your beat. top I'm, 10? Yes. I, I, I thought he beat Ramirez. I thought he beat I Ramirez, thought, Ramirez, too. I thought he beat Ramirez, too. Actually, that's the fight I actually wanted to see Tank, like, go, go against. Pro grades in 140. Is Barrios yeah. in your top 10? Yes. Because he did well against Tank. And I thought he's a good fighter before the tank fight. Barry yeah, maybe he's a pay that ain't in our top ten because we've mentioned a few fighters. Yeah, the- a pay that's not in my top ten. He's not in my top ten. He ain't gonna beat Vargas. Now, anything. if you want to be honest, yeah, he. I don't think he beats the Barrios we saw against Tank. I think that I Barrios so, yeah. destroys the pay. Yeah, is Montana think, love yeah, in like, yeah, the top? Yeah, Tapeda. Yes, and, but he got a belt though, bro. He got a belt. That's a record. That's hmm. a. That's a contender's strap that he has. Zepeda, he got that silver. Bro, that don't Zepeda count. has a belt. There's only I'm one just saying it's a belt, team. bro. Only one champion at one Yeah, team. but he's I'm, what I mean, that belt represents the top contenders. That belt, that particular belt is a contender's strap. So with him having it, we're taking him out of the top 10, but that strap is telling the world that he is a top contender. You see what I'm saying? I understand what you guys are saying. I know that that belt doesn't mean anything, but it does mean something. That's why they have it. And well, this fight uh, would put uh, Vargas in that ballpark of a Ramirez. Like, if Vargas wins this and Ramirez don't get the rematch with uh, Taylor, that's a fight that, you know, Ramirez would probably do just to get that strap. It's in-house bout. So you know what I mean? The strap means something. To the to the boxers, it, it definitely does. And in terms of there are belts that are um they have certain meanings in terms of like where they're at in rankings and development. So I can I can understand that um for sure. Uh Eric said uh Rosado ate a lot of leather in his career. That's a fact. He said I'm trying to keep up. Hey man, you keeping up well, man. There ain't no I problem, mean we bro. I mean if you think about it. Let's rank the divisions <laughs> right now in terms of what's the best division and what's the worst divisions. I mean, the best divisions, I mean, is is heavyweight. Um, 122. 122. Uh, 135. 
one thirty five, definitely. Uh, we talking about pure talent, pure talent, talent, and actual black like, fights we're getting as well. Okay, so yeah, so heavyweight, um, one twenty two, one thirty five, one thirty five. I would say one forty, one forty. Um, I would say one. I would say forty seven about default. Yeah, forty seven. Forty seven. Mm-hmm. I, I uh, did. Maybe. I would. I would pull up one fifty four towards the rear to the back end of this conversation, mm-hmm. just because they just had a unification bout. So with them being get, semi-active, but I get you, bro. But I'll tell you this here: you reason my problem with one fifty four is, and I was thinking one fifty four, but bro, I think one fifty four is an absolute mess with Harrison Heard and. Um, J-Rock, J-Rock, J-Rock. not picking up wins, bro. I can't come up with a top 10 right now. It is so difficult to come up with a top 10 I, at 154. A vlog 154 is such a yeah. mess right now. There's a couple guys at 147, you can plug them in at 154, and they got legit shots. And they ain't even fought at Danny, 154. They haven't even fought at 154 yet. I listen, Danny, I, Danny, get Danny's Danny here. I give Danny a shot at Harrison right now. I give Danny right. a shot with uh, Rosado. J-Rock. I mean, not Rosado, uh, Rosario. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, so that yeah. division yeah, he, is yeah. a pigsty, bro. That division is a pigsty. Bro, I think I think I can name Castano Charlo, stand up. Tim Zhu. Who else? It's difficult, bro. My guy, um, my guy, uh, uh, you got to throw Lubin in there. Lubin, definitely Lubin. Uh, what's, what's the name? Uh, guy, uh, uh, the boy, t- uh, the boy that just came off the uh, the win on um on on oh, Showtime. Yeah. What's the boy name? That dark skin cat, Fandora. Carlos. Oh, Ad- Adamas. Yeah, oh, yeah, he, he Carlos coming on. Uh, Adamas. Yeah, Adamas. But he yeah, lost to yeah, he, he lost to Tadera. He, he, he lost. He lost that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. That's what makes it a hard division to kind of rank because these dudes are still decent <laughs> fighters. They just uh, coming off of losses. Fundora, Fundora, Fundora. Yeah, it's a hard mm-hmm. division to rank, bro. It is a pigsty, bro. It is messy because J Rock, Harrison, and Hurd would normally be in my top five, but they all didn't win. So it's so I, difficult to pick. I I think Thurman could go up the one fifty four right now. 154 right and now. Beat Hook. And beat Hook. He probably... Thurman? He be, I, 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 I think he beats J, um, Jared Hurd. He beat Jared Hurd. I think he beats Hurd right now. Thurman? I think he, yes. Thurman yes. beats Hurd? Yes. Wow. Bro, Hurd has been right looking wow. trash, bro. Right Hurd has been looking so <laughs> trash. Oh, my gosh. Hurd has been looking trash. Yo, Hurd look like he been enjoying the fruits of his labor, yo. Literally. That's how he fights. I think would you I say pick, pick, silk sheets? Yeah, yeah silk would sheets, you say man. silk sheets? Silk, and I, I, silk and, and sheets and socks, man. I'll pick Danny Garcia to knock out J Rock as well. Um, that I'm not dude, gonna go that no, far. Nah, that I think I no think J Rock too big. I think J Rock big. too big. I've been telling J Rock for a year and a half to go at the one sixty. Because the problem I'm with J Rock smart too, though. though. He no, just the getting one caught. You know what I mean? Here's the, here's the thing with here's the thing with J Rock, right? J Rock, now I, I know this for sure. J Rock has been struggling to make 154 for years. For years. Even when he won the title against Hurd, he struggled to make weight in that fight. Bro, he is a 160 they both pound did. fighter. Yeah. And there's two types of there's two types of chins. You got an Amir Khan type chin where it's just you just got a Blow. bad chin. And <laughs> then you got you got situations where guys are struggling to make weight and they just can't take that shot. They can't take that shot. You know what I'm saying? Like You're it's just again, don't got their legs got under them. Yeah, they got yeah, I get, legs yeah, I get, under them. I get, I get um, hold on. Kiki in the building. Big shout out to Kiki. What's going on with you? Um Conrad 140 when Tio moves up. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um yeah, well, for 140, sure. the 140 is a 140 nice right now. 140 is nice right now. 
Yeah, uh, Eric said no heavyweights is kind of iffy outside of Fury and Wilder. I got to disagree. Bro, you, with that, Eric. you can't say that, bro. The yeah. heavyweight division, you just bro. had the top four fighters fight each other. You had Dusik versus AJ and Fury versus Wilder, and then yeah. underneath that, you're getting dudes and fight then, each other. Like, yeah, and, and then it's just a filled division. There is a lot of names, you know what I mean? Bro, so, I got Eric Hunter, Wendigo. you got Wildin. Yeah, I mean, we were supposed Dylan to have Wallin. We were supposed to have Wallin versus White. That would have been another top fight. We just had, um, we just had, uh, uh, what's it called? Frank Sanchez versus Effie Jaguar. That is a, that is a Yo, heavyweight is fight, Eric. Bro. Heavyweight is oh, loaded, bro. bro. Loaded. You about, you and about Ortiz out here looking for a fight. Yeah, you yeah, got Ortiz, bro. the old the old gorilla, still out here looking for a fight. So yo, the, he yeah, heavyweights. Is that, that's 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 a major division bro, right look, now. Look at the young dudes coming up: Hergovich, um, Yoka, um, Jared yeah. Anderson. Bro, you can now. Uh, Joe Joy, Joe Joy, Joe Joy. Yeah, there's too much killers. Too yeah, much killers. Yeah, they, it's deep. Bro, heavyweight, they heavyweight deep. division. Heavyweight division. You go about thirty deep, bro. You go about deep. thirty deep. Wayne ain't talking. Wayne ain't talking about Tre the Trevor Bryan's. Well, that some good ass fights too. Michael Hunter. Michael Hunter. Yeah, Hunter. You, yeah Eric, you, you still got Mark. You can't. Yeah, Charles Martin. You can't talk you about uh, Parker there, Joseph, even though I don't like him. Joseph Derek Parker. Is over there. Yeah, I, it's bro. It's heavyweight loaded, man. Twenty five. It's the deepest Andy division Ruiz of boxing. With, Andy Ruiz with the tattoos and that. Literally. Andy Ruiz. Yeah, I, bro. It's the deepest division. Now, I would, boxing. I would debate that with you. I would debate that. I think one forty may be the deepest with names, possible matchups yeah. that aren't title fights. I get. Nah, I don't know. I'm not sure about that, bro. I just went over that. Man, I was on with L Dub the other day going over that top heavy, ten. I think heavy. I mean, L heavyweight nights. Nice. It's a lot of great fights to make. Okay, yeah, heavy, okay. Yeah. I, I just L think one forty can compete. I'll say one forty can compete. One forty can compete. Is in defense of one forty, in defense of one forty, though, I would say this: you rarely get fights at one forty that don't live up to the. Like we've had fights at heavyweight that's been kind of trash. We rarely get fights at one forty. Like look at a Jaguar and what's it called? A Jaguar and um, Sanchez. That was a Frank Sanchez. But look, but look at man. look at one forty. Like let's keep it all the way one hundred, bro. Like Baranchik, when he just fought was a Taylor, bro, that was knockout of the year con candidate. You had Regis Progre when he fought Taylor, that was a fantastic fight. Taylor when he fought um Ramirez, dope fight. Ramirez when he fought Ramirez. Pope, um, yeah. you had you had um Montana Love when he fought the Taylor. You had Robert Easter when Robert Easter fought his last fight, bro. There's some um Barrios first tank, bro. There were some real good fights at one point. Nice, one point nice fights. Good. One foot is a division, bro. In fact, one foot is in my top five. Easy. One foot is in my top, top five for sure. Yeah, one foot is in my top five for sure. Uh, Eric said, uh, Harrison is too long and mobile for Danny. Um, yeah, that's a bad style matchup for Danny. Um, you think Thurman the and Danny the Harrison we just before? saw? I'm the Harrison we just saw because I go off of what you just showed me. That's a big part of how I cap these fights and analyze these matchups. A lot of it is what you just showed me, me or we got a cap, what you haven't shown us, too. So just doing that, I don't know about that left. I don't think Harrison has really been using it to his advantage because he let Mel walk him down. No, yeah, that's true. Just saying. Yeah, it's similar. Just it's pointing similar that out there. You, you could be right, though. I'm just saying. No, yo, no, no, yo, no, that's true. That's true, Blunt. That's true, Blunt. Um... Dwayne Sewell said, uh, Heard is done. A lot of 147 will beat him. Uh, I just realized that J Rock fought last week. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Eric said, I'll take uh, I'll take that. My heavyweight uh, comment back. I text that out of emotions without thinking. Uh, yeah, nah, bro. we feel you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I, I would say the top the top three divisions for me is 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 heavyweight one. I'm you know what I'm even put. I'm gonna say 122 is number two on my list, and 140 is number three. Yeah, 147 reason, is number four. The reason why yes. I won't say 135 because the Twitter Kings Look. lost their dope fighters. They're not fighting. Yeah, so. they're not fighting. And 135 a cap off my top five, just off the talent. I, I got, I got 140. I give it heavyweights, and then I probably 
I like that 126. I like what's going on down there, 126. It's even without that dude that's kidnapped that title and shit and <laughs> fucking ransom. <laughs> but yeah, I think 126 live right now too. Yeah, 126 is good. I mean, what do you guys you guys like? Well, Kid Galahad. You guys like Galahad? Uh, I like Black. Galahad too. I like Galahad. Good he's 126 champion as well. Yeah, Black. I like Galahad. Like Galahad, yeah. I mean, yeah, he'd be, yeah. be the color, he'd be the color out of um, yeah, that's uh, what I know. I saw that last uh, fight, I saw that yeah, last we fight. We were all laughing for that, we were laughing for that, we were all laughing for that fight, yeah. Who did, who did he beat again? That was uh, oh, what's that dude's name? You, yeah, Jude. I missed it. I was, Jude. I was in, you, nah, you was live with us, you was on so, live with us, Jet Blunt. You was on live with us. I was. When he beat, yeah, he yeah, was on live with us. That Chinese bro, that in, in Eddie Hearn's house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He did. Don't you remember, Blunt, when you picked the water? Some of them dudes over there, there can box run. though. Yeah, man, that was that was uh yeah, that was yeah, 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 got yeah, the knockout in the first round, and I was salty. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff was uh, about to put money on that. Fight. <laughs> I put some bread on that. I remember um, that. He said, uh, "Eric said I'm talking about the Harrison <laughs> that stuck and moved against Hurd and Charlo." Um, oh yeah, that's that's a yeah, that's, that, a, that's a different that's a different, different that's a different Harrison. We I'm talking about uh I'm talking about the Harrison that that we just against <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What do you think of what do you think of the dude that beat Hurd? Was it Arius? What do you think Man. of him? Darius, he is trash drug juice. <laughs> like he ain't actually. You know what though? Um, yeah, him, him and they, Perella should be fighting each other. Yeah, him and Perella should be fighting. I like Brian Perella too because I thought he got robbed in that fight too when he got knocked down and he got uh, stopped with a second left. That was that was have- that was vlog favorite ref again, yo. Back at it. Uh, what's your favorite ref name, vlog? Man, I Jack, I'm telling Jack you, bro, Reese. that stool Jack over here Reese. waiting for Jack Reese. That, oh, Jack yeah, Jack Reese. Reese. Jack Reese. Stool. He, Jack Reese be out, Sitting there waiting Jack Reese be out of pocket. Yeah. What, 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 what do you guys think of Tim Zoo? I like Tim Zoo, but I need, I need yeah, to Jack see, Reese. I need, I need to see Tim Zoo come over here. And, and there's a couple guys I would like to see Tim Zoo fight. Who would you like to see him fight right now? Him and Luba would be a good fight. Um, a real good fight. That's a real and, good fight. Him and Fondora will be a good fight. Um, be that's, honest, that's, that's a and, real good fight. Him and him and her to be a good fight. That'll be a nice match. Nah, respect, bro, bro. I don't want to see Tim Z be up heard like that, bro. Nah, but the thing is, though, see, Heard mm-hmm. is gonna bring something to the table that Zoo has never seen before. Number one, the size. Number two, yeah. with her getting his ass whooped or not, he's walking forward. Like, that that's inside cool fight. Times. That yeah, inside exactly. fight, so it's no, nah, yeah, he, he, he can show some things. Hold on, uh, Chris G said apparently Kyron Davis has been selected for Benavidez. He's beating he he up on a different style, yeah. I like Kyron, though. I like Kyron, but I just find he's another dude that's never been maneuvered correctly. Like, even when he fought the row, I thought that was just not fair for him. Wasn't that his first fight at 168? Yeah, but I thought he won that fight, me personally, but. But it still was like the preparation and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's when I was thinking Darrell was looking old. Actually, that's the fight I, mean, I thought Darrell should have might have been thinking about retirement. So, yeah, Kyron did, Kyron did look uh, pretty decent in that fight because he looked and like he, he had the boy notice. looking for the lockers. <laughs> he took it. <laughs> that'll that'll fuck world, a fighter up, bro. He, uh, man, you, you sitting there like, man, this motherfucker took what? He took the fight. You know what I mean? Then you try to figure out who he is, and yeah, yeah, yeah right, man, true. came in there and that's caught true. you off. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. That's caught true. you slipping. That's a fact. That's a so what what, what? 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 We saying about the Babbage fight? Let's just let's just cap it off at like that. Uh, what wrong? Babbage. Um, wrong I I like Babbage in four. I'm gonna say four. I said four yesterday. This guy's changing his I mind. Said yeah, three. I said three yesterday. I'm changing it to four now. I like, think I said three. Yeah, I yeah, agree you with you. I, yesterday. Think I said three. I yesterday, agree with so you I'm yesterday, vlog. I agree with you yesterday, vlog. I agree with Shane today. I'm gonna go with four. Um, 
Okay, okay. Remember, I'm going off of what uh, Melina showed me. I'm not going off of what Babbage. See, y'all can bet off of what Babbage might do. I'm betting off of what Melina is not going to do. And that is stand up under nobody trying to hit him with a hammer. That's a tree. That's true. That's true. That's what we're going to fold like a lawn chair, homie. That needs a professional <laughs> diver, bro. As soon as that person turns up, he just folds. <laughs> but who would you like to see Babbage in the next year, in terms of stylistically? Wallen. Kyle Nagy. Wallen. Kyle Nagy. No. I think Kyle bro, Nagy should retire. I ain't lying. G- I'm not said, lying. I think Wallen? Kyle Nagy should retire. Nah, bro. Well in, well in, well in. I, I I want I want Babbage to fight another in like exciting fight. Someone who's a come forward fight. I want another bang bang fight. What about him versus Derek Chisora? Chisora too big for him, man. Chisora too. I like big. Him. I don't think he's ready him, yet. I think, I think he need, fight, he need a couple more fights to get his weight up. Style wise is a good fight, but weight wise, you know it'll just be fight? like you know the like? Fury what? to me. You know what I fight what? I like, yo? What? Give me Babbage Oscar Revis. Yeah. That's or Babbage, Babbage or Takam. But Babbage want the heavyweight that. title. He don't want that belt. He already spoke on that. They can fight yeah. without that belt. He was like, they can fight without that belt. I mean, yeah, yeah I, 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 get, I mean, you're right. They can, but style wise, it'll still be a good fight because Revis do bring it too. Revis ain't scared gotta, to get hit in the mouth. Hey, yo, I got a problem with Twitter right now, man. I cannot find our live on Twitter. I'm a little pissed off about that because it says on here that it's on Twitter, but I, I don't see it. Maybe because it's your own live. You're not going to be able to see it with your own device. No, I can see I can see my own live on Twitter. If I go on my phone, I should be able to see it. But it says on here that it's on Twitter, but... um. That's that's neither here. Babich versus Babich versus Takam will be a good fight. What else is there? It is on here. You see I'm it? Watching us right now, Jeff. We on here. Yeah, I just okay. clicked the link. Okay. All what right. about Babich? I got on a, I got a better one. I got a better one for you guys. Babich versus Gassiev because Gassiev moved up to every week now. That's a good fight. That's like decent. That that's the yeah. He, he did just do that too. I remember they they bought that up um when when uh when uh, he was outside the ring with um and what's that girl name? She was talking that fighter, the sister. She was out there talking. She yeah, was yeah. talking about how uh his competition that's in his realm. That's the same weight class that'll be big factors at the heavyweight division. And she used well, Gas's name as a uh you know. What about Babich versus Hunter? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no, Hunter, Hunter Hell outboxes no. him. I, I don't yeah, even I think Hunter, Hunter wouldn't even do the fight game. I think Hunter would outbox him. He'd let Babbage try to punch himself out, do a lot of smothering him, you know, covering up, Babbage hitting all the elbows and that sort of thing. Because Babbage is not accurate with his punches, so he yeah. Babbage. Babbage gonna go up against. You get a smart Lane. fighter like Hunter and tire him out. Mr. Paul Counter, Mr. Paul Counter, man, he gonna uh, hit him with a Paul Counter shot. You know what I'm saying? All day. That's a good fight. But see, that's, that's the same style fight. of fight I was thinking about with Wallen. Somebody with but some I, range, but, somebody that's gonna but make but him I, work I, to I, get I inside. Think, I think the Bois should fight Hellenius. If I was the Bois, that's a fight I'm going off the Hellenius. Yeah, that's a good fight for Dubois. That's a good fight for him. That's a good fight for him. Um, hold on, Eric said. Uh, mm-hmm. speaking of like talented that. sons, what's the deal with Eubank Jr.? He's staying busy until he gets a shot, man. So he get a big apparently man. He w- apparently, he wanted the Golovkin fight, but this is the thing where I don't understand with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn is planning to do a card this summer, this this um Christmas in England with him and Sauerland. He's got um, B- um, a Coley versus Bradis. So why doesn't he just make Eubank versus Andrade? That's what I would have done. Yeah, but the thing is, he's it's gonna be hard for Eddie because you you heard you heard why the why the, the um Eubank and Golovkin fight didn't happen. No, you don't know the story. No, vlog. You know the story. You mean now the one that happened recently? Recently or mm-hmm. yeah? Before I was talking about before. 
on some. Oh yeah, no, I heard about before. I'm talking about recently. Oh, recently, I don't know. Recently, I don't know. I know about that old story about that yeah. picture. That picture on uh on uh Eddie Hearn dad wall. And what? you ain't you ain't heard that story? No. All right, so here's the story, right? So, um, the Eubank and uh Triple G fight was pretty much signed, sealed, and delivered. Eubank dad comes into the office and says, all right, the fight's pretty much done. He said, I got one request. There's this photo that's in Eddie Hearn dad office of um, of um, Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank told Eddie Hearn he wants to go to – he said, go to your dad and tell him if he gives me that picture on the back of his wall in his office, he got a deal. Eddie Hearn dad said, no, the fight was called off. No lie. Go look it up. So Eddie wow. Hearn is very That's sour. That's some ass shit. Is, yeah. that, is, that, is that senior or was a picture of senior or junior? It was a picture of senior. Makes sense. It's a picture of senior. And I'm thinking, uh, why the hell are you going to have junior on your wall for? Yeah, right. So that's the reason why the fight didn't get signed between um, Chris Eubank Jr. and um, Triple G. And vowed to never really do any real business with Junior again if uh Saint if Senior was in the picture. So that's part well, of the I, reason. I, 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 I haven't really heard. I'm surprised you. Ain't, I'm surprised you didn't hear that story. No, I remember that now. That up on, I remember uh, you that. You can look look that up on uh. No, nah, man, you talked about that a while ago. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you. We talked we about that a while ago off camera though. But yeah, I now it's coming to memory. Yeah, but that's some petty you, ass shit though. That's hella petty. That's, that's dumb. This is dumb. Like you can go buy the darn picture. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> like, hella. You know what I'm like, and that 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 would have been to this date Chris Eubank biggest fucking fight. And I like, think I, he, I, I don't I, think I'd he could get a name. A real shot too. I'd get, I'd get Eubank a real shot too. At that nah, time, boy. yeah. I still I like against triple uh, Lufkin, triple G. The Lufkin's beating Eubank, bro. Right now, nah. Maybe then no, he could have won, but I still give him a no, shot. I mean then. back then. I mean, I mean back then. I mean back then. No, yeah, I think yeah. That ahead. back then, I give Golovkin the edge. Yeah, but I still give him a shot. But now, yeah, he beat the brakes off of Triple G. A Con, A Conrad, man. Come on, man. Come on, bro. He said, "Melina in the upset. If you believe it, bet it. If you believe it, bet it." Um, <laughs> Allen in two. Dwayne <laughs> said, "Allen in two. Um, Kyra said Babbage and Rivas at Bridger Week said I'm nah. shocked that you guys rate Babbage against those guys no it's not the fact that we rate them we just know it's going to be a good entertaining fight Gasaya at the end of the and- day bro yeah, we, we, we've, we've managed our expectations with Babbage we know he's not going to be a world champion so it's about enjoying the ride while it lasts bro that's a fact. Bro, the one thing, like I spoke on about my heavyweights. If you're going to let your balls hang, I'm fucking with you. You can get my dime anytime, bro. I got your <laughs> back. Let's go rock. You can get your block knock. I'm not getting my block knock. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm and still fucking those, with you, win or lose. But for, I, that style, bro. Is that exactly, Blunt. For those who don't know, spiritually, Babbage is about that life, bro. And some dude spiritually just isn't on that level. No, nah, that's got the right energy, bro. And he got he got Jay. that he got that nineties got that nineties type vibe to him, man. Like that old school, old school fighter type vibe, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He the type of dude that'll fight at the blue horizon like every other weekend, vlog. And probably oh, drink crap. a beer with you. Is that fight man, happening? Facts. Is yeah, that fight happening? Tuesday night fights, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Conrad said Alan Babbage does is going forward, throwing left, right hooks, and you put him up against Hunter. That is murder. I agree. Uh, go ahead, read that, Shane. Tim Zhu versus Takeshi Inoue is a good fight. I didn't know that fight was announced. He not saying it's announced. He just oh, said he it's said a good people, fight. People are sleeping on him. I'm a su- is it hold on, Chris G? Is that fight happening? Because I didn't is that hear fight that happening. Because that's a dope fight. That's a real that's good a fight. Dope fight. 
That's a real good fight. Um, let us, Chris, let us know if that's if that's legit. Um, the one fifty four needs a fight like that because Jesus yeah. Christ, they've been taking L's in that division. Oh God, that division is taking some serious L's. Yeah, that yeah. What's happening with Joe Smith Jr.? He's still recovering from COVID. He's sick. Still. Yeah, he's sick. Mm-hmm. Man, that he should take like eighteen months or something. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, that yeah, should take, take a almost while. a year. Yeah, what happened with Co- what happened with Tyson Fury? He just beat your boy up after having COVID. Yeah, he ain't had no COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was 400 pounds, yo. He ain't had no COVID, man. Um, nah, Kyrus <laughs> yeah. apparently, he, he said apparently is on November 17th. Oh, bro, that's another fight we might add it's to the announced. He said that we definitely add that to the fantasy league. That's a definite. He said November 17th, yeah. That's yeah, a good bro. fight. November that's a good fight. A killer month, bro. Bro, the Nove- people who don't like boxing, I don't understand. November is a killer month for boxing, bro. Like yo, how funny you know, you think yo, fight? hold on, and you you know, and you know the thing that's gonna be crazy, yo. What we going live for that fight? Yeah, hundred percent. No, 100%. you know why? You know why? why? November seventeenth is a Wednesday, bro. Oh yeah, we're going live for that. We going nobody's live. Gonna be go- no one's nobody's gonna, gonna, gonna go live, live for that. No one's got- going live for that. So, hey Shane, this is what I need for you to do. I, I need for you to find where we can get that stream. Um. So we can we can be referencing that. I mean, so basically, the the plan is as a channel. This is probably the plan. So as a group, should I say, we're going live on for the Babbage fight on g 5 tvcom or g 5 TV YouTube, and then the Boots fight and the Jamal James fight will be on Blunt's channel next week for Canelo. Are we going live for that? We have to. Yeah, go live for that. Um, basically, we're gonna we're gonna start going live for fights. Jeff's gonna start doing some regular videos as well. Blunt's already dropping the videos, dropping the articles. We're also gonna start going live on Blunt's channel consistently and for fights as well because I feel like to maximize interaction, you have to do it during the fights. Follow yeah. us on social media. Most importantly. I think a lot. I think I think we should do a lot of the um immediate Foreign reaction fight. immediate reaction uh lives on blunt channel too oh yeah that's that'll be a good true. i think that'll be a good look um, we, we could just do the live here and then just say everybody go over to blunt's channel yeah and we'll and immediate reaction. People, yeah go over there for the immediate reaction but it'll uh, it'll balance out it'll balance out the work you know what i'm saying because it's enough work to go around you like you know but what I'm blunt saying? that means bro uh, that means when it comes to setting up them lads, you gotta be rapid quick. <laughs> yeah. I actually, you know what? Man. We'll just we'll set it up in advance. We we'll set it up in advance. Yeah. Um, and make sure everything is, you know, everything. Yeah, I'm getting kind of better with this technology and shit. Oh, it got me a what light and all of, kind of shit, man. So I'm trying to get better. What type of time is the boots fight? So I know I can wake up for the fight, bro. <sighs> so the card probably gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna have to get at you. So it's probably it's probably the card probably starts at like two o'clock your time, so it'll probably be a, like a three o'clock three thirty fight for you. Boots is three thirty, something like that. Oh, that's they, the Showtime only Showtime is only gonna have they only gonna have they only do three fights max. So I would have preferred be, if it was a little bit later, maybe like four o'clock, five o'clock. It what? could be four. It could be four, depending on how long the actual other two fights are. Unless they're I, oh, showing more than unless they're showing more than one fight, I mean showing more than three fights, but that's rare for Showtime. Fair enough, but yeah, regardless, I'm gonna be on it. The the lad, I think Jeff will be at work, but we'll be on live yeah. for. The, I'll be at work. Yeah, I ain't gonna do the well, whole card though. I'm only gonna do the co-main and the main event. I ain't doing them no all them six rounders and all that garbage they gonna have on there. I'm <laughs> just gonna do the uh the co-main and the main event. Cause I, I I got yeah. the boy uh Bo, uh Budavev. I got a I got Budavev winning, so I gotta watch it, <laughs> man. Though. Oh man, I yo, is there anything we have not covered tonight? Um, no, nah, we done the page. No, nah, I think we touched it off, man. I know this gang get ready to come on, so you know, Bird Gang, Bird yeah, Gang. You understand me? Is 
Yeah, we about it's to either um, Philly or Fan or Gang. Yeah, we about to close this thing out. About man. to get this um, undefeated streak cracking, and, and I got to slide I, out of here. You know the thing that's crazy though. Before we go, like we've been on for two and a half hours, and it's it feel like it's relatively short compared to other joints. I feel like we actually getting out at a good time. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm, I, 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 we need to do a marathon one day, like a good ten hours or something. Yeah, I, yeah. I listen, man. You are lost go your marathon, goddamn mind. We go. I'd be like, damn. The like, super dang, chat better be people. crazy. <laughs> that super chat. Gotta, that's nah, super that's, chat. You, yeah, they, that's they gotta super chat. Us, they gotta be to crazy. Do a marathon. We gotta. Yeah, I, I. We need at least like two, three hundred. We need at least two, like, two, three hundred in super. I chat mean, can you marathon. imagine like he just done card off the card off the card? Like, he's yeah, done. I, yeah. The super chat. I would. Yo, it would take for at least. 10 people to be like, yo, we're going to give you like 20 or 25 dollars in the super chat. He said, I'm yeah. a super chat. Yeah, I'm going to do a whole I'm going to take you up on that too. Definitely. I'm take you up on that. Definitely, bro. I'm going to take you up on that for sure, man. <laughs> but unfortunately, um, guys, luck, he ain't going to get no money. Best of he luck, ain't going to get no money, bro. <laughs> he ain't getting no money. Nah, yo, I, I, man, I, I got see, my fingers yo, crossed for him. I got my fingers crossed. I got my fingers crossed. Yo, the odds on that is a speedboat to one. If Molina wins, you win a speedboat. (laughs) For real. Uh, Log, give us social media so we get up out of here, player. Boxing, number one, ST Vlog on Instagram. Putting work up on there regular, as the fellas spoke on earlier. My writing game is stepping up, so go check out the latest article on G5JeffTV.com. I appreciate all the support. Y'all know where I'm at on YouTube and right here with the family, so Box of First Vlog is right in front of you. Hit me up, man. Appreciate it. Shane, give me social media, bro. I underscore I'm Shane, the number one. I have been extremely, extremely inactive, but I'm a star being a bit more active i'm obviously just doing so much stuff at one time so it's quite difficult know, for me. why you don't put the why, why don't you just take a certain certain amount of clips from the lives and just put them up no i'm talking about inactive in general like obviously with the i like the post you put up today though yeah i'm gonna start doing more posts like yeah that, that was I, just, yo, I like that yo you just gotta shorten up you gotta shorten up the word yeah post. it's too long yeah, though bro. Yeah, me and vlog appreciate that, but other people. Yeah, it's too long for IG. I, I, I know, I, I know, but you know, you but you guys know me, bro. I find it. Yeah. I'm a very. I find it difficult to get to my point without going around. I you know? like. It was. It was like. Probably you could have got your point across in probably like half of that. You know, what I'm, I'm saying? sure I could. Like half, I like sure half I of that. But, I, you know, you, you should do though. This is what you should do. When you write it out like that, just reread it. Just reread it. Do it like you do a regular. Do it like you like you like you edit in the article. You you, you gotta remember, bro. I'm the, I'm in the reverse of Blunt. So Blunt's used to writing like that. I'm used to writing like how Blunt's writing now. So we're kind of role reversing right now. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah see, I'm used to the IG keeping yeah, it yeah. short, but you know how we twerk the words on the streets. So, so I keep it yeah. short, hit you in the head. You understand know me? But uh, when I'm starting to write, I got to get my Fraser Crane on, bust out that Webster's, you know what I'm saying, man, expand the game, you dig? So <laughs> it, is, yeah. it, it's a balance. It got to be a balance. But don't do that on IG, By the no. way, Don't do that on one IG. Of the greatest, uh, one of the, his best article, and probably the best article on, it, on the website, is the Outsiders. His first draft of that. Bro, he Yo, literally first, brought out Webster's, Yo, everything. That first, <laughs> that first draft. Yo, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, yo, like it was about like man. ten different words on there. I was just like, man, let me take my time and pronounce it correctly. Like, Literally, like, it was like damn. me trying to that, pronounce I, the title. Like, man, I watch like, Frasier, yo. man. I, I get that shit from the white boys, man. Like, yeah, we was like, black I watch Frasier, man. Like, we cool. We 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 cool like, with the big words. We like, yo, bro. this ain't you, yo. Like, <laughs> which white boy did you steal this from? Right, right. <laughs> it is me though when I write. No, it, it, it is me because that's from school, but I don't talk like that. You feel me? So it's a difference from how saying. I write to how I actually yeah. talk. So I but, had to bring but, it back, though. I feel what y'all are saying, but I still, 
I'm still going. I'm. I, I mean, you just gonna have to. The writing gonna be on point. Long the story on point. I'm a, my wordplay. They gotta rock with me, man. They gonna know what I'm talking about. Tell them to get the spell check in the Pictionary, and they'll be able to uh, figure it out. You understand know what I'm talking about? Right. I feel. Like Hold on, Eric H said before we roll, what's everybody take on Canelo Caleb Plant? Uh Canelo's winning now. Well, we we coming back. Um uh, hold up, man. It's too tomorrow. early for that. We can't do that, H. We can't do that yet, baby. Can we hit him yeah, um, We we'll be back tomorrow. We we'll give you a pre-fight. Yeah, we coming back we'll tomorrow. Give you a pre-fight. tomorrow Friday. Yeah, because we missed Yeah, we'll give you a pre-fight look. I, I, yeah, I think we next, did. I think we did. All right, we all right, so. the odds. What's the odds for this week's fights? Um, that's a good question. They don't I'm come out sure. till so late, bro. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. bro. When I was waiting on the eyes for the fights on on the Fury card, they didn't pop up on the FanDuel till about like thirty minutes before the fight, bro. Bro, bro I don't that. know. Like you, you only get the main out. fights. Imagine a Delorme. Imagine a Delorme odds, bro. Oh my god, that must be a hundred to one. Hundred to one, bro. That's I true. think there's like, bro, I you're think, gonna I have to put like fifteen. On... You're gonna have to put fifteen hundred on boots to make a hundred dollars. It's gonna be something like that. Dollars. I think yeah. I, I think there's higher odds on the disqualification than actually a the law may win. Possibly, possibly, possibly. Um, Eric, to answer your question, I like another one to fight. Um, hold on, damn, he said Molina six to one. Yeah, Conrad, if Molina win that fight, yo, we need parts on the super chat. Bro. He said he only put five on it, so you only gonna win. Bro, oh, you're gonna win thirty dollars, bro. You talking put all the trash, man? man. Put, <laughs> man hey, hey, put hey, the Conrad, hey, put the hey, hey, put the, Conrad. Hold up, Conrad, put the put fan in the super chat if that man. shit hit, bro. At least bro, no, I don't do that to yourself, put Conrad. Put it, put it, put at least. Y'all gonna get your lady some dinner or something? Yeah, twenty. Yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, I can feel that, 20. but don't. Twenty, you get you a buck twenty. You, that's enough. Listen, that's enough. Melina, not worth a half a man. <laughs> hey, the Five way he's talking, the way he's talking, bro. If, 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 no, if, he just don't like Five Babbage, dollars. bro. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's not. I, it, but it. I mean, you could have put that fin in the super chat right now, bro, because Melina is not going to win. So. Conrad, uh, best of luck to you though, Conrad. Hey, you know man, we I, like listen, you. I hope you <laughs> listen. I hope your five dollars get you thirty, brother. I, you know what I'm saying? Like there's yeah, no it bro. There's no point, bro. Why yeah, would you put I, five? I would. I would at least put twenty. <laughs> at least yeah, put twenty. I, mean, I can no. never bet five dollars no. unless the uh, unless the odds Look, are crazy. Hey, you know, you know what this sound like? How people felt after taking hearing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fact, like we talking like them before, you know, before the fight even happened. Like, yo, goddamn, I said, can't believe I put my money on this. Yo, he said, My distaste for Babbage doesn't go further than five dollars. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. Cash. That actually, that's hella that cash. Actually, that's hella cash. Yo, that might be the comment of the night, the last but, 30 seconds of the live. Yeah, fact. Man. Um, hey man, but you you can you catch me all over the place, man. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, G5 Jeff TV, website G5 Jeff TV.com. Go check out um Boxing First Vlogs article um on there, another banger from him. Um, the prediction fantasy league will be starting back up um for the Canelo fight. Have you spoken um, to Joseph Group? I have not spoken to Joseph Group, but I will get with him in the um in the comments. What and, what, uh, what? What prize are you giving yourself? Uh, a pat on the back. That's it. But uh, Joseph Wilt, though, he got his choice either the next two big pay per views is getting paid for by G5 Jeff TV or he is getting the zone for a year from G5 Jeff TV. So he is up to him. It's his choice. But he's out of the country, though. So we got to figure. But congratulations to him. Um, we're gonna. He, I'm. I'm gonna figure out an advert for the next fantasy league. We're gonna do some promotion this week. I'm gonna get some stuff done over the yeah. week, over the, t- tomorrow and over the weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna get, get some, some stuff done. Get some things. Get some things together. So we going yeah. in tomorrow or not? Let me yeah. know. Now. We going. We going live. We going live tomorrow. We going live tomorrow. We can do. Um, 
you know, we can do some predictions for these official predictions for these fights and uh, maybe break down some technical stuff. And maybe, like and maybe, I mean, hopefully the odds are out. I'll check. I'll check. Yeah, hopefully the odds are out. Um, we can check on that. Uh, maybe we can get, um, I'm actually see, I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit Rob up and see if we can actually get Boozy, um, get Boozy in it. Bro, I ain't, the live. I ain't going to lie, bro. This is a, this a, a parlay weekend, boy. If you can't put a parlay together and win a few fights off a of parlay, you better stop uh, box betting. <laughs> don't, cool. don't play okay. boxing no I more. Mean, I, I mean, an, a nice parlay would be um, Babich within five, uh, Boots within six, uh, Jamal James to win on points, Zapeda to win by knockout. That would be my parlay. I don't agree with your parlay one I, bit, bro. What would be your parlay? I got, I got Buda B. I got Buda B. I got Buda B. L. for the knockout. I got, I got Cepeda for the KO. I'm just saying. And you know who I'm gonna put on my jaw for the KO? Archie. Three fight KO oh, right Chuck. there. Nice little Archie parlay. Chuck. Yeah, Archie, Archie for the because dude only been stopped once. So the KO payout on that should be nasty. Because the African yeah. will only been stopped one time. So yeah, but I, I like I, Archie. I like Archie to go and get rid of him. Yeah, I like um I like I actually like the Archie pick. I like Archie if if that's an option. Um, because they may not have that on there. Yeah, um, it'll be on there for us. Yeah, it just depends on what you're I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the odds anyway. I'll tell you the odds from my end. Yeah. Um, so who would you uh, pick? You'd yeah, pick. I would I say know. boots. I would say boots. Uh, boots within six. I would Babbage. say Babbage within six. Um, I got whole sway by decision. Um, I got Archie. I got Archie, and then I got uh, I could see I could see Bataya of getting robbed. So I would say James by decision. I can see Bataya getting robbed. Bro, you didn't disagree with nothing I said. Of course I did. You said it's a pay to buy knockout. Yeah. Oh. You know what parlays? I said it's either you perfect or you lose. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We can't tease no boxing matches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no bully. <laughs> Ain't no bully betting <laughs> on no boxing <laughs> matches. No so you don't no think Zapata's going to win, bro? You think, nope. you think Vargas is going to win? Yep. Fair enough. I like his this energy. Just, I ain't gonna lie, I like his energy. But to right, me, cool. the come energy on, gonna get him knocked on, that's out. That's that's the come thing. That's the way on, I that's see what it. We're gonna talk about. I like that's what we're gonna talk about. We're yeah. gonna look at the odds. Let's talk, talk about the te- techniques and stuff and stylistic and stuff. Who's What's gonna that? win the most money? I think it's gonna be me, but most maybe I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just a good weekend of fights, man. It's a good weekend of fights, man. Oh, November's sure. going to be definitely sure. cracking. Uh, November, actually, November is probably one of the best months for boxing. And you know, good. Wow. I mean, off the dome. What I, I mean, but I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. We we got the money team on the B day, so December's starting off right too. Now, what we you know what they we, finish out with a couple what, what nice ones too. Yo, what what we doing? What we doing? I'm a, I'm gonna try to throw a fight party or something, man. I ain't really do nothing too much live saying, for the B day last year, but you going to you going to you going to Vegas? No, nah, they had that fight local. ain't gonna be in L.A. That fight gonna be in about, L.A. No, but I'm talking about I'm talking about your birthday, tanking man. them. I know you're talking about tanking them. Oh, I, I, I might just keep it simple. No, I, I might just keep it okay. simple, bro. I'm gonna just keep no, it I simple. I might come out year. there. I might no, come. I might come out. I might come out there. I might come out there. Yeah, bro, because, you know, I'm going to just buy myself some new toys. You know how we play. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, no, I might come out there for that. So we might set something up. Um, I see where yeah. I get all yeah. work and all that. Hold on. What, what day of your birthday? Oh, that's no, I fall on a Saturday. 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 Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. 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 So Jeff, you yeah. have to fly out from the Friday. Mm-hmm. That Friday. Yeah, like that Friday. I had to. Matter of fact, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick before we go. Um, Let me check something real quick. While we on here, something real quick. Um, would I'll be going to Phoenix, right? Yeah, Blood, Phoenix. Yeah. All right. Um, hold on, man. I'm on live. Hold on a second. Let me check it real quick. 
Uh, yeah, because that'll, that'll be a good that'll be a good trip. Uh, Phoenix. Is will it be the Sky Harbor? Sky Harbor International? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So it'll be that's December. It. Like Hold I said, on, cuz. Third, four, fifth, six. All right, hold on a second. Go out there for the OG birthday. Try and see what the prices yeah, are here for real quick. Um, just drawing a slow as shit. Just, right, hey, hey, you'll get yourself out here and just have one of these bitches get you home. That's how you do that. Oh, excuse my French. Sorry. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, no, it's 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 not bad, not bad, not bad at all. We'll work I it can, out. Uh, hey, let me I get up do, out of here, uh, though, bro. I got yo, some. Uh, yeah, go ahead, do your thing, man. But listen, on behalf of Boxing First Vlog, <laughs> aka the General, aka Blunt Bayless, um, VP Shane, I ain't gonna mention his other name. Uh, that's between us. And uh, G5 Jeff TV, a.k.a. G5, a.k.a. 5, a.k.a. The Guru. This was episode number 16 of the Goodfellas Podcast. Another good one. On behalf of the staff, we out.